that does not represent any single other organization or club. These are idiots talking about stupid shit. If you're under the age of 18, tune the hell out. Everybody, this is Jake coming to you live from the Radio Underland Garage, aka Studio, when we're trying to be bougie and shit. But yeah, we slash are here. Bar slash bar. What do you mean slash bar? That's our background. Well, you know what? Today is my freaking Friday. I've been working my ass off all week, and today I just got off. I came down here. I've been drinking some Johnny Walker Red, and it is my Friday night. I might have started a little too aggressively, but it is my Friday night. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure I've seen you finish off a few of those before we started. Yes, I have, and I am in an excellent <laughs> mood. I'm in a very, very good mood. Now, Tom, great. what do you mean, great? Yeah, it's just good. Well, Keep drinking. Wait, 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 You're not my Tom. No, I'm not Tom. No, no, no. <laughs> Where's Tom? Jack, way to fucking blow our cover. Uh, we're supposed to just progress with the show. There's a gentleman here, and we're supposed to go with it and not make a big deal of it. And just as long as somebody's behind the mic, Nobody it's all good. informed me that Tom wasn't going to be here today. Well, Tom is in Houston. Oh, wow. Houston. Yeah. So we called in for reinforcements. And other than Steph, rock solid co-host that's been here forever, Missy, the angry co-host that's been here forever, <laughs> uh, myself, my name is Jake, and we have Mr. Travis Dappleshay. Uh, yeah, I'm excited to be. Thank you guys for inviting me. I, I'm I'm excited to be on the uh, the poker table right the, here. On the, the poker the, table, yeah, yeah, yeah that really cool. that is that is you know there's, that is actually a blackjack table. Oh, excuse me, blackjack table. I don't know what it is because we've never played a card game on this table. Maybe we should. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so uh, Travis is sitting here, sitting at the desk. Which I I mean I guess that's the, the, is that a level of. I went no, yeah, I went from the kids' table to the adult table, so that works. I like that. Well, we, we don't the call it the couch. Kid, we, we call it the casting couch. Casting couch. Have you right, seen yeah. the stains on that couch? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had to wash all my jeans the last time I was here, so I had to make sure. <laughs> that's yeah, how you was, get yeah. the measles. Oh, okay, that's good yeah. to know. There we go. <laughs> yeah, or MRSA. Or MRSA. Or MRSA. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, Zach, can I ask you a question? <laughs> I like how the name on the bottom not, says not, not Tom. Tom. That works. Yeah. Well, I would have been more prepared if somebody told me. What How the, are you not prepared? You're in the same chats that we have all week long for this show. I, I, the I, second that Tom said look, he was going to I'm Houston, I said... Well, to just pay attention to just like these little chats where you just Can I ask you a question, though? Because, sure. Because, can, uh, because we have been doing this show for a while together. Yeah. Mm. How, how's my name spelled? <laughs> <laughs> Since we're talking about the lower third right there. You know what? Wow. We should just get on with the show. You're Stefan. Yeah, apparently. Stefan. <laughs> You know what? I thought that was correct. I thought that was correct. I mean, I don't send you too many love notes and shit, but no it's A's. not. Ian? Ian. It's yeah. Ian. We're Facebook friends. He has my phone number. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure he has you as Stefan. On Facebook? No, on his phone. <laughs> well, you got to take it you got to take it easy on Jack. Jack's been going through, you know, we haven't talked about it because we don't talk about people's personal lives, but Jack's been, you know, he's been doing a lot of uh extracurricular activity lately, uh getting himself stabilized. Uh, lots of coloring, lots of coloring, and, and yes. twelve steps. <laughs> I think he should probably be taking more steps than that though, on a regular basis. Twelve steps might not be enough. Wait, wait, right. what's that supposed I to mean? You, you know, but, you hey, know what? Now. Okay, can we be re- can we be real about this for a second? Sure, we can. Okay, because Jack has been going through some therapeutic services. Jack, yes, I would say so. And uh, in those therapeutic services that you've been going through, ha- has this show ever come up in your therapy? Yes. Good or bad? <laughs> I'm sure it's bad. Well, I mean, we're not supposed to really talk about therapy, um, and every, anything that happens in group stays in group. Um, but so far, um, sounds pretty familiar. Though I have, I have pleaded the case. Um, the case of what? Well, the case, particularly like you know, for you in particular, <laughs> but everybody there thinks you're pretty much an asshole. Oh wow. <laughs> Well, then they pretty much. All right, speak all, right, all right, all right, wait, 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 wait. But you show up here for free. This is a this is a family engagement here. Nobody. I'm sorry. Paid. I do not show up for free. Yes, you do. 
We all show up for free. I pay to show up. <laughs> okay, we all pay to be here. Nobody's making a profit off this damn That's show. That's true, right. So it's so fucking bad. Why am I coming up in your therapy session as an asshole? Well, because they just want to know more about what's going on in my life, you know, my possible stressors, and you just tend to come up with I lot. stress you. <laughs> well, yeah. Like, right now, I'm getting really stressed. Do I stress you? Not really. Does, does Stefan? No. What about Tom? Is that why he's not here? He no, Tom. Me? I love Tom. That's oh, okay. why I was very upset he wasn't oh. here. So, so you're so telling me. Now. You're yeah. telling me that I'm the only person here that stresses. What about Brandon? No. Brandon doesn't. Well, I mean, he did one time. Babe, he and we said, had a whole show. Yeah, we, weren't, we worked that out, though. <laughs> really, like you feel that I stress you out all the time? You're How yelling at me right now. <laughs> I'm not yelling. I'm talking in a very calm voice. How do I stress you out? See, I'm not the only one. Yeah, you, you see, I'm with Missy on this. You're always yelling at me. You blame me for everything. And I mean, yes, sometimes I screw up. Sometimes I may put the wrong thing. Sometimes I may, may, mis, may misspell Stefan. But you usually give me shit for it. And it's just, I, I just. But I'm giving Every you time we're late. And I know that I cause it every time. But you would like always make sure everyone knows it's me. But I'm giving you shit because I love you, Jack. Okay. I'm dysfunctional. And I love you too. That's I'm why I hate go to therapy. I'm dysfunctional. I, I understand that. Yes, and they said that I need to accept you for who you are um, if I plan on having you around in my but life. But I don't go to a meeting with a bunch of strangers and talk about how Jack's an asshole. Why would you do that? I'm not the asshole here. <laughs> Everyone else loves Touché. me. Say, Wow. I don't think you're an asshole. All the time. Now I'm getting self-conscious and shit. <laughs> I think I, his character. I don't know, even know how to respond to somebody that's going to therapy and he's talking to the group about me being an asshole. Hey, hey, Jack, do you ever mention him by name? No. That's a that's how an do important they know him by? Right. I'm well, just I mean, curious. I just tell them about like the things in my life and whatnot. So I've mentioned like everyone. Um, you know, I've mentioned the show. The show's a big part of my life. What specifically have I done to stress you out? Oh, wow. Can you not take When we were doing the Jacks. <laughs> now you sound like a woman right there. I want to know. When we were just- <laughs> I can't even tell you how many times a week I hear that question. What specifically so did Can you narrow it down? We're make a list. Because hey, I remember five stressors. Do we have March? enough time in the show for this conversation? Sure. I just want to know. <laughs> Look, I'm just I, saying If that- I'm doing something intentionally that is stressing you out, I want to like curb my behavior. Well, I mean, it just it would be it would be a lot nicer if you didn't yell at me all the time. I don't um, yell. I talk what are you saying that right now. But I'm not yelling. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't yelling. Okay, then, well, then give me an example of you yelling. Because I know you want to oh. yell at me, a trans black ass. Yeah, anyway, this isn't yelling. This is conversation. <laughs> this is him whispering yelling. <laughs> this well, is my inside voice or what? <laughs> If the neighbors can't hear me, I'm not No, yelling. but what am I doing fucking specifically that fucking causes you to stress the fuck out? I said In you're no yelling, you point, you point I'm at- not fucking yelling! <laughs> you point out mistakes that I make? I'm pretty sure there's a Are you sure you're not Right yelling? now, I'm like almost terrified. Get the fuck out of here! Jack, there's a vein popping out of his forehead right now. I'm notice. not popping! Jake, Jake. Do you guys need couples counseling? <laughs> Jake, Jake. No, he's seen random shit like I fucking stress him the fuck out. I'm not even doing anything. Look how hey. red his face is right Jake, now. Jake, actually, everything's fine. Everything's fine. I, can, I don't have I any complaints. I can concur with that. I can concur with that. <laughs> okay, no passive aggressive, though. That shit's weird. He's being passive aggressive. Yeah, huh? that right there. I need to go to therapy because <laughs> Jack fucking scares me. I think you should. <laughs> Whatever. Fucking. What? <laughs> Well, I mean, is it, it, I don't know. No, okay, is is the therapy working? Yes. Well, what did they? If, if they say I stress you out so bad and I'm a fucking asshole, why are you here? Well, they said that I have a condition where I just like to be be. Uh, what do you call it? You're a I submissive. Like, I like to be punished. You're a submissive. We all know that. Mm. Well, it, it's not I'm submissive. I just I, I'm a masochist. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, we did yeah. see his Amazon gift list, so remember that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I, I don't know. I, I I didn't grow up with a dad, so there's maybe a little bit of that in there. I mean, I did, but only until I was like 11. So there's probably that going on. I probably have daddy issues. Can, wait a minute. Wow. Can, so do you see do you see Jake as your dad now? Or like no, a father not really. Figure, I mean, he's only <laughs> like eight years older than me, I think. Oh, okay. Which would be awkward. What? What? Can we talk about that? What happened to your dad? 
My dad had a heart attack when he was, I don't remember what age, like 40-something. But you were like 11. Yeah. Okay, well, my dad had a heart attack when I was, in 2010, he passed away. So we have some bonding there. Yeah. Travis, you have, you have both parents? No. No, I just have my mom. So you just yeah, have your mom? Yeah. What happened to your dad? Uh, that's a great question. I wish... Does anyone else know what happened to him? Is that... <laughs> anybody here? I don't mean to laugh, In the field. but... What, what, no, that's, what, right, that's true. No. What do you know about your dad? Uh, I know that he gave me a really cool, awesome last name. Uh, so, Apple's I day. mean, yeah, that was... But, uh, no, my mom raised me, and uh, shout out to single moms out there doing their thing, trying to raise a bunch of kids, right? Word. So that's, yeah. Do you think your mom yeah. really gave you the true scoop of what happened? Because I know a lot of moms, like, like BS what happened to dad. Like, no. oh, he died in the military. <laughs> he didn't. He was just fucking some secretary at his work. After, like, watching, like, Game of Thrones, I hope I'm, like, some sort of, like, really cool... You're hoping your mom's like, not your sister, right? <laughs> that's what I'm hoping, yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> Well, it didn't happen that way. But. Uh, actually, but. so really, you you don't know what happened to your dad. No, I like don't. on on a real on a, on a real on a yeah on yeah. a real thing. Yeah. You don't know what happened Absolutely. to your and how how old? I mean, do you remember your dad at all? No, I really don't. No, no. honestly, I don't. So no. he is gone for you no, since day I, one. I, my mom was married three times. Yeah, uh, and then that was it. Yeah, we, I just I always had her. She was just kind of like the person that was always there to help me out. So I I like I said, I always just get up for single moms, and, and yeah. I know a lot of them are doing out there without that extra person there. So. How do you think that affected you as an adult, not having a dad around? Hopefully it made me a better comedian. That's what I'm hoping. Is really? That, yeah. yeah, that's yeah, funny but, shit. Yeah, it's, that's yeah. funny as fuck. Oh, yeah. you got a dad? <laughs> no. <laughs> fuck you. No father. Damn. There we go. Um, no, no. I, yeah, I mean... I, I, I I guess I don't know the difference. I mean, unfortunately, like, like Jack, I didn't have you know someone up until a certain age. I just always yeah. had my mom, so that was just it. Hmm. But I, I, I mean, I, yeah. I mean, that's that's yeah. a, a yeah, step. Did you have a dad? Yeah. Around? yeah well, well, everybody has a dad. Yeah. Well, we I know, but did you, yeah. you, you have a dad? Yeah. That was yeah. Yeah. But no, no, my dad wasn't really in my life much at all. Mm. He passed a few years back. I think it's probably been eight years now, maybe around the same. Okay. Okay. Amount of time is your dad passed. Yeah. Yeah. Me, so yeah okay. Yeah. All right. We're in the same ballpark. Take, um, yeah. No. That no, was never really raised with him. Huh. And Just, do you think that affected you in any way? I think it did. I how? Think it how did. so? Um, it took me a long time to to find my shit. You know what I mean? Hmm. And of course, yeah. not literally, but like you know, to get it together. Because of, although a mom is a lot of things, um, she's still not, not a man. dad. Not a man. And so very difficult for moms to teach young men how to be men. A man growing up you know mm-hmm. um, i think she did a wonderful job i i did some shitty stuff you know when i was a kid or whatever but uh as far as my outlook on life and how i treat people and that sort of thing uh all the good things about me come from the things that my mom taught me over right. the years you know yeah. what i mean right but yeah just you know just it's it's i guess it was tough but like like travis said it's a, you don't really know the difference because he was that's all you know really yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah so you just you, you know mom's here all the time so she's like the staple you know she's 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 the go-to. How many people in here were raised in a two-parent home? Like Jeff was, Nate was. Oh, who, well, whose hand is that back there? Sean? Is that Sean? Sean. Yeah. David? No. No. Hold on. Give him a microphone. I want. I want to know what's going on. So, 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 so who who raised you? Uh, my mom. Your mom. Yep. And your dad left or was my gone? Dad. Yeah, he left uh, when I was about ten years old. And since then, I haven't heard from him. Shit. So he he just wow. bounced. Uh, he didn't yeah. die. He just bounced. Yeah, that's pretty much the scenario. Yeah. And how do you feel about that? Uh, you know, growing up, it's definitely hard, you know, because, I mean, you know, you miss special little, you know, you need your dad through certain events, and it's just, you know, it's hard, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, but I agree with that, needing your dad for certain sure, events. Absolutely. But it, it, I think it maybe what you went through was probably 100 times worse because he was there. Like up until and a certain point gone. in your life, yeah. yeah. Like so, yeah. he was, you know, from the time he was born until the time he was ten years old. You know, they were bonding and doing things that you know, I guess dads and sons do. And then, boom. Yeah. Are you mad at him? Uh, I wouldn't say mad, but like if he hit you up on the phone today, how how would that make you feel? Uh, I'd probably be really emotional. Be You'd honest. be emotional. Oh, wow. Yeah, I mean, because I mean, like I said, you know, I haven't heard from him since I was ten. You'd probably um, have lots of questions. Definitely, yeah. <sighs> See, fucking was, life, bro. man. Yeah. I had both of my parents, even though they were separated. I still had my mom and dad, just differently. Hmm. But I lived with my dad growing up. Oh, yeah, well, that's unique to this scenario. I mean, most right. of the guys mm-hmm. in here were raised by their mom, but you were raised by your dad. Mm-hmm. Well, until I was like 14 then. Would you say that not having your mom around made you like really aggressive and angry towards like, you know, future mates? <laughs> 
I'm just asking for scientific reasons. I'm not trying to start a fight or an argument or anything. I just I just want to know. For research purposes only. Yeah, researchers. Yeah. yeah, that's it. I had to take care of myself. You had to take care of yourself. Did that did that make you a little like rough around the edges? A little aggressive, a little mean, like you know, like a you know, like a prairie dog or no, like a hyena? Maybe. Like a carnivore? I love you. <laughs> Say that now. <laughs> yeah, wait till I fuck up on this show and then you'll be throwing cups at me and shit. So anyways, this is the Radio Underland podcast, video show, whatever, something that we do. And we do have a guest tonight. The guest that's coming on shortly is Mr. Tyler. Tyler from the Brandon. What's the name of his show? Because I know it's changed uh, since we've booked him in the past week. The name of his show has changed like three times. It was the Super Effin' Dope Podcast. Right, which I think was an awesome name. Yeah. yeah. And and then it was the... the terrible effing... Terrible cons- effing podcast. Yeah. And now... He's the terrible conservative. Yes. And he is a, uh, how would you describe Tyler? Because you were on his show last week, right, Brandon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was really cool. We talked about Endgame. Um, Endgame, we're not talking about anal sex. We're talking about the Marvel movie, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. You got to check out the uh, special edition for the Ant-Man scenes. Okay, okay, okay. Is that really uh, the Endgame? Uh, anal sex? Is that? Is that the? That is the Endgame. Is it? Is, isn't it? Is that like, that's like? Isn't that you, the crown jewel of sex? The the you end game. Know when you got it, no, no, yeah. I don't think so. What what is the crown jewel of sex? Like like um, like when you're with somebody, you know that I have okay, I have I have climbed Mount Whitney, Mount McKinley, K two, whatever. Whitney, I have yeah. reached the pinnacle of the sexual experience with the person that I'm with. What is that pinnacle? I don't know. Ass to mouth. I heard ass to mouth in the background. Well, that's no, disgusting no. because then you have to kiss her sometime throughout that project. No, 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 no. If you do that, you're dirty. Hold on, Sean. Sean, get over here in the camera so we can see you if you're going to start chom- chiming in with shit that we can't understand. Oh, nice leather jacket. Harley Davidson, by the way. Okay, uh, what is the pinnacle of sex? When you wake up in the morning and you start saying, Michelle, Michelle. You're going, oh, I'm here making breakfast. I'll be here in a second. We're just we're almost waiting for the eggs. And she brings the breakfast in the morning and feeds you. That's a job well done. You get in the morning fed, leave the morning fed and ready to go. That's good sex right there. Okay, so you're saying the pinnacle of sexual achievement is breakfast in bed. After a good night of sex and a good night of sleep, breath, and in the morning we leave a fresh cooked breakfast out the door. Yeah, that's 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 okay. I think that's if she made well breakfast done. for you right. after a good night like right. that, then yeah, you probably did a great job. job breakfast? Well yeah. Missy makes breakfast for me damn near every day. Yeah, well you're also married. Well, I okay. <laughs> so I'm, right. I'm I'm going to assume that, you know, she didn't wear a white dress to the wedding. <laughs> I'm not commenting on that. <laughs> I'm just this assuming goes here. I'm only assuming. I'm just saying. I did not. That, uh, we were together yeah. 10 years before we got married. <laughs> exactly. So. You didn't wear white to our wedding? She knew what she was Wait, you don't into. remember was- what your wife looked like on your wedding day? <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, babe. You don't have to remember what I wore on our wedding day. It looked white to me at that time. <laughs> it's probably off-white, which no, is very close to you. Not. No. No, Missy came out in a wedding dress. She was looking like Selena and shit with like rhinestones and her boobs Selena. out and everything. <laughs> were it were you? Pink. It was also what? Pink. It was pink? Mm-hmm. I remember that. I'm not surprised. Nice mm. safe. Nice not safe. like not yeah. like pink, but it was like a tint of pink. I saw the pictures. A tint of pink. Tint of pink. No, we got married in Hawaii. It was a good time. Uh, so anyways, we, like I was saying, we do have uh, Mr. Uh, Tyler coming on the show, Tyler420, which is now he's the host of the Terrible Conservative. He's a, he's a ultra conservative, and we were getting to the race of... He, he calls himself a libertarian, though. He's a libertarian. Well, he calls himself a libertarian. He's an African-American. That is true. But uh, he got mad at me when I was talking to him earlier, and I call him an African-American. He says, I'm a black man. Okay, well then, Steph. That's how he identifies. I identify as a black man too. I, in fact, okay. Well, let's just avoid that crazy end of the conversation and let's focus on real black people for a second. I'm real. I do not identify as African American. No, you, there's no. No. I mean, you're talking no, or anything no, like that. No, I don't. I don't. Jeez. I mean, I'm sure somewhere. I'm asking. Right. Somewhere so far back, or? there is some African, of course, but I, you know, you're American. The last four or five. Seasons of my life. How, what, what, what do you like to be identified <laughs> as? Family. What do you want to be identified as? Stefan? With an E. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That part. Of course, especially for my friends who know me so well. The two E's. Um, no, just I'm a mixed bag of nuts. Mixed bag of yeah, nuts. I'm, I'm, you know, my mixtures, 
I think a little, well, I mixed too. I mean, I look racist yeah, as fuck. Mixed just with white and whiter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I have Native American blood in there somewhere. Yeah, I had it's like, uh, you're like Irish and Scottish. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's <laughs> both whatever. Little, I mixed. They, they met at the border and just yeah. right there. Just right. <laughs> It was a conjugal visit. It was a- <laughs> on, on Trump's wall in Scotland. Uh, okay. So, anyways, we got Tyler coming on the show, and we need to get Tyler on early because he's calling in from Philadelphia. And, oh, he's from uh, Philly. Oh, he's wow. from Philly. Yeah, he's from Philly. So, yes, so but, but we do also have sponsors that you've neglected to go over. I neglect our sponsors every fucking week when we do the show. We're not like Travis's show where That's Travis right. has nice commercials right. and Ozell Jewelers right. and all that other kind of bullshit. We don't get into the fucking spots. Tra- Travis comes from a legit podcast video. What What is your show? It's, it's, it's Tapple Show. It's on Epic Television on Facebook. So just like you guys here. Uh, uh, it, thank you, by the way. I appreciate it. Yeah, because we, I mean, it's, it's a, it's a, Two man show where we try to put everything together and just make it legit as as possible. Now yeah. I've been on Tapple yeah. show. Yeah, he was on there last month. Yeah, I was on there last month, and I felt very awkward. Did you? Why? Because it's I'm, you're going on a show where he wants to interview me because I'm allegedly interesting, and there's nothing interesting. Now all of a sudden you have yes, a problem with being on. He didn't have on, control. Is no, that what it is? No, that is. Okay, really? <laughs> We're going to go with below the belt, like, slams right away? No, I was no thinking babe, maybe they that's not what I meant at all. I, you were just, you, you felt uncomfortable because you didn't know what questions they were asking. It was fine, but I didn't feel like I should be a guest on somebody's show. Well, like, no, like our show, show we, it was a fun show. It was, yeah. it was a great, it was a great show. But we know. we just talk about whatever's going on in the world. That doesn't make us individually interesting. Of course it does. I'm very interested. I'd like to think that I'm. Well, well, you two are conceited assholes, I guess. So whatever. <laughs> uh, but know. anyways, the Tapple Show, which you got, you guys go live on Mondays at Monday seven, nights, yeah, seven thirty. Yep, yep. And they can find you at facebook.com slash epic television. Right there, there we go. Thank you. And that's where Travis there. is live. And, and yeah, Travis, Mondays. there we go. Thank you. Travis does this really interesting thing where he, he's got a green screen and everything like like we do. Mm-hmm. Uh, but he's got that whole like what is that like a New York vibe? Yeah, we we do like a whole back screen. Uh, we make it seem like we're not uh, in the high desert. The high desert, yeah. Like you, meth is totally like non-existent, redlined yeah. out of the yeah. equation. Yeah, I like cactuses or Joshua trees. We don't have cactuses. We have jo- <gasps> we have Joshua, Joshua trees. trees. Yeah. I still okay. like yes. them. But the Tapple Show isn't it cacti? Cacti, yes. Uh, Just ca- curious. No, no cactuses. I think you're right. Yeah. Okay. But anyways, uh, I, I don't know where we're going <laughs> with this. Tom's gone. Travis is here. Bye Steph's bye. here. Missy's here. We're all here, and we're doing a show. Okay. So my wife hates it too. Hates what? That I correct her all the time. You do? I do. I, I correct Missy more than Missy corrects me. It's in the nature of my beast. I, I, my mom did it to me for years and years. She was very much a stickler about um, the English language. Yes. And how you're supposed to speak, considering that we were African American. Mm-hmm. You know, she she didn't want to. My mom's the woman who, <clears throat> if you talk to her on the phone, Redroom. she puts on the the white woman voice. Really? Yeah, she's been in customer service, you know, basically her entire life. She uh, retired from the phone company and, like, you know, a few other things. She's she's doing big things. Um, so what is a white woman voice? Well, um, there's really, when you get on the phone with someone like that, you have no clue what their ethnic background is. That's kind of what you reach for. Right. As I always get the Indian guy that's obviously Indian that goes by the name Phil. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> that's call, what I get. If you call any company after five, that's pretty much what you're right. going to get for customer service. Oh, yeah. well, thank you for calling. Yeah, yeah. My name is Phil. How can I help you? Yeah. But like, the key, the key as, a, as a person of color is to sound like I have no clue what the ethnic background is of this person that I'm speaking to on the phone. Like, you know, you make it. You, yeah, but for me, raise, I'm first generation here, so you raise the line like in your voice a little bit, really so people feel a little bit less threatened here. about the things that you're saying. So white people talk in high voices. They, well, they're more inclined to do things for you to help you out if your speech is a little higher, pitch. higher pitched. Yeah, because how like, do you feel when you call a customer service and you get to somebody that's obviously black on the phone? Um, I can relate because I can, I, relate. I, I can hear it. I can hear it. Yeah. Uh huh. Like for example, when I called the guy, the insurance guy who called me for for the bus. Was a black dude, and it was obvious. You know, of course, I could tell. How that. was it obvious? Well, I t- because, because if I say he was obviously black, I'm racist. Of course. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so as, how as was he obvious? obvious? <laughs> That's a black man. You know, you, you kind of know the the twang, and the, you know we we have a certain, but what the young kids call sauce, sauce, right. sauce. Yeah, we're you know we're a little saucy, you know. Hmm. So there is. So do you think that gave you a leg up on the call? Possibly. 
Now, did you black yourself up a little more than usual to like well, relate you know, to you, the insurance yeah, man? You kind of use brother a couple times, and mm. <laughs> you know, so you play that card. You, you, you feel out, more yeah. comfortable with the, person on the phone. If, like I said, if they feel, now feel, Brandon, I've seen Brandon when he gets around other. I can't say other black people because he's not black. I'm black but, as fuck. What you know? Okay, Plessy. Uh, when you when you're talking to black people, he totally like blacks it up. And, and I I would find that if I was a black man, I would find the shit that he does offensive. But it's natural. He for doesn't me. do that with me. It isn't now. natural for you. You're it's naturally like, white. You dumb fuck. I ain't white. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Okay. All right. I want to see what your birth certificate says. It says white. Caucasian, I think is. I, I, I honestly don't know where my birth certificate is. Oh, I'm sure we could pull it. It's not hard to All get. All right, Obama. <laughs> where were you born? What county? Riverside. Oh, so okay. yeah, he's his his birth certificate is down the street from my house. Yeah, we, we only have to pay it. 20 bucks for it. <laughs> Should we have a birth certificate reveal for Brandon <laughs> and, oh, and, and place yeah. bets oh, yeah. on what it's going to say for that's, his race? That's, that's public information, yeah. right? You can yeah, get a copy of it. it. I'm pretty sure we can get a copy of it. I don't think you can get a copy of my birth certificate. Okay, well, I'll just ask Robin to get a copy of your birth certificate. No, she's I think, married I, to you. I think birth <laughs> certificate. I don't think you get the official stamp version of it. but No, it's just a certified copy. A certified copy. Let's order it. Do we have any done doubts done. of what his birth certificate no, is going to say? No, but it's just proof. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's getting mad over there. Yeah, he's just mad. That's right? all I'm saying. He's You're black mad. as fuck. Yeah. It's going to say like how can, you, how can you put any weight on anything that this man says when he goes around saying I'm black as fuck? I got fuck. a lot of weight to me. I did dirt. I put in work, and many niggas can vouch that. Oh, dude, you shouldn't even be saying that yeah, word. Yeah, yeah. Santa Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get him a shirt that says the Santa Barbara nigga? <laughs> nigga. Yes, yes, yes. Well, he's right. like a, he's like a. What's the the uh, what's the Malibu movie? Malibu's oh, most wanted. I don't know it. He yeah, is walking Malibu's that's, most wanted. Yeah, that's yeah. much. Be yeah. red. Be red. And yeah, his name shit. happens to start with a B. How ironic. Mm. Mm. Be random. <laughs> It's all good. When you were on Tyler's show the other day, when you were talking about Endgame, did you tell Tyler that you, you identify as a black man, or did you just talk to him as a black man? I just cracked some jokes. I mean, it was kind of awkward. Okay, so we get to tell him tonight. Perfect. I, I told him that the topic was going to come up, but I told you it's not like being did. vegan. What? Like, when you're vegan, no, you it's go way worse. that's the first thing that you tell people, hey, I'm vegan, you know, go fuck yourself for eating meat. But being trans black isn't like that. It's not like I have a billboard. No, 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 there's no way. There's no way that you can walk into a room with a bunch of brothers of a darker color than me Anyone's and just start throwing me. around the N-word without giving, like, some preemptive, like, disclaimer. I've, I've never had an issue. You can what? go into a room full of black guys that are playing dominoes, <laughs> drinking malt liquor, and you can just start throwing around throwing the N-word dice. with no problem. <laughs> start throwing some dice. Dude, start they gotta look at you queen. like you're crazy as fuck. Yeah, he couldn't do that around the way. He couldn't do that. No, there's no couldn't. there's no fucking way that you're walking into a room with a bunch of black guys and start throwing around the N-word. Nigga, please. <sighs> yeah, we're, I'm offended by that. We're in Eastvale. We're in Eastville, right? <laughs> it's all a, Asians and Tom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he could go to like Compton with that. Da I don't buy that. I want to see this motherfucker walk into a bar in Compton with a bunch of guys playing dominoes like, and I just walk in and start throwing around the N-word. These days I might laugh at him. Like, I wish that he went with us to Rex that one day we went for Amanda's birthday. Oh, we went to the, to the blackout party. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> blackout party. No, it was literally that. What that's what the event was called. Is blackout like, party. Our president is black. That was the event. I went. Well, I was cool. Out out worked, but I didn't start. No, no you, I wasn't working there that night. But I no, went, we but went you in there. Worked for that part. See, I would think yeah. that would be like a party where all the white people get together and wear. No, no we were the, we were the only white people there. Oh. Wow. Yeah, and in fact, the party was in full effect when we showed up, and we had like twelve or thirteen. I want to say we had thirteen, friends, like 13 with us, friends with us, and we were going to go to this bar for like an after party for whatever birthday party we were celebrating. We show mm -hmm. up at the bar, and they've got a sign out front that the blackout party. Our president is black, and they're trying to charge a cover at the door, and I'm like, dude, come on. I we're not paying here. no cover. Did they charge you the white privilege charge? No, we got in for free. Uh, we okay. got in for oh, free. Oh, your white privilege. But no, we no, no, that's, that's, that's kind of what we do, too. But no, he I don't want to pay to go. No, to but he cover. worked there. He worked at that bar. I, yeah, I had worked oh. there. So, so the 13 of my ultra-white friends <laughs> walked into the bar, and it was full of all 
I don't know the politically correct term anymore. And to, I would say African Americans, but that's not right. But Black Americans, Black Americans. Why can't you say Black American? Because they said that back in the fifties. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Wait a minute. No, you just say American. Why do you got to specify Black at Thank that you. point? Go back to therapy and color and shut the fuck up. You don't say White <laughs> Americans or Brown Americans. Uh, well, what? How do Isn't you classify that what he's going people? To therapy for? For me yelling at him? <laughs> yeah, well, he's people fucking. Of color. You have to. You, you have I'm to be, sorry, Jack. I'm to Jack. I'm sorry, Jack. There you go. I don't want you to be offended, and I don't want you to be scared or upset with anything that I say. I love you. I will accept that. But I, whatever you said was just bullshit, and I'm ignoring it. <laughs> no, that's accept acceptable. That. Yeah, yeah, that's acceptable. Accept that. Is that acceptable? Yeah, yeah. So I love when Jack, you went though. to this blackout party, you didn't leave any meat on the chicken bone, right? Because you know that's the thing. Oh, coincidentally, that's they were serving. Homemade fried chicken that night, yeah, and yeah, I definitely oh, got homemade. a plate. You're not allowed to leave chicken my surprise on face. the bone when you're done with your food. I'm pretty good at eating chicken. I don't okay. leave. I don't leave. I, I eat like the cartilage and shit. Okay. I, I go down to the bone. Awesome. Yeah, that's what she said. <laughs> I think that's that's what he said. Whatever. Okay. Anyways, uh, where were we going with this? We're going we to our Brandon's trans oh Black sponsors right. oh all right you're telling me that I need to get to our sponsors now Jack who are our sponsors that I need to talk about he 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 had it up there and one of them is our newest sponsor uh, that uh, is a tobacco shop Norco here. Tobacco and, yeah Norco Tobacco, tobacco. Right really yeah. they're actually sponsor can we get a, 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 a sponsor that's not like uh, one of the seven deadly sins uh, we're working on it. But it, it have you seen the with, show? Yeah, I was to say it comes with the content of the show. So did you not, not see what you guys spin? just did for the last fifteen minutes? We were talking about race relations, Jack. And, and Where's I your coloring that, book? Your I think therapy that a good coloring book. Place to do that is after going to Narco Tobacco. You get yourself a nice cigar, and then you hit up Goodfellas. Ask you for put, Tony. Yeah, really? Ask for Tony. Tony, uh, it's on, Tony it's, is uh, the one white guy that owns a tobacco shop. Apparently. And then you go over to Goodfellas Red Rum, you get you some weed, and you got yourself a nice little blunt in the making, and you can watch Two Guys, One Blunt, and uh, Radio Wonderland. The yeah, show that has out. never happened. Okay. It's going to happen. <laughs> it's I going agree. to happen. It's on stoner time, but it will happen, as God is my witness. We'll have at least one episode. <laughs> at least one episode. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the season premiere and finale, all in the same episode. I'll tell you what, somebody, so all what you, in the same day. Right, just, one of you it. fat fucks that's sitting on the couch, can you give me some more Johnny Walker Red, please? Thank you very much. Hey, Why are you giving me evil mark. looks? I'm I won't call I'm anybody thirsty. fat you can fucks, have but. Some more love. Yeah, if you don't mind. Thank you, Raymond. Thank the, you, sir. You're an angel. All of the Johnny Walker Red. Just wait until we have flashlight. We are not taking on Fleshlight as a spot. Dude, he, we sends, should. he sends me an email yeah. the, other, the other day, and he's like, dude, we can get Fleshlight as a sponsor. And I'm like, no. It's money, dude. We could. No. Jack, we're not I'm selling sure. no, that's, Fleshlight. That's, yeah, Fleshlight, I mean, that's, I mean, you could Jack do. Jack will test them out. Yeah. And then, you know, we could do them as giveaways. The, wait, the, the used <laughs> ones or the... <laughs> Not the, the used, used ones. ones. <laughs> Not the used ones. Right. <laughs> used by Jack. We might be able. We might be able to charge that as like a special extra. <laughs> Nobody's yeah. buying that. Could be. Hey, you never know. I do not want to say like, yeah, I'm I'm Jake from Radio Underland. We're sponsored by Fleshlight. No, no. You just said it right now. No. All right, somebody needs yeah, to cut that like sound by. Are endless. I don't even know who that is. We've said it like it, five. You times. don't know what a fleshlight is. Nope, I'm just enjoying well, these I'm Jack, not going to explain. No, Jack, do not you, show a <laughs> flashlight. Jack, can Jack, you please show who our, who our latest sponsor might be? <laughs> it's up, All right, who could describe to Missy what a flashlight is? Who ever thought of giving Listen us to individual jelly bean things? You guys are great. Yeah, that oh, is try. delicious. We try our best. Hmm. Anyways. So a, a flashlight is a um, uh, male uh, uh, stimulation device. <laughs> And um, how's, that, how's it jelly bean, Travis? It's all right. Was, what flavor is it? <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> you guys are fucked up. For the record, I, I do not approve. <laughs> what did it taste like? <laughs> it, I'm choking on my. It tastes like what the flashlight would taste like after Jack knows. That's what I can see that. Being set up. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That part. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All I know is that we had a box of bean boozled jelly beans, which is hit and miss. Oh, it's this is a miss. This is definitely a miss, yeah. <laughs> so I told everybody, I'm like, hey, let's put this bowl of jelly beans in front of Travis and see if he gets like a shitty jelly bean and see what he does. 
Uh, apparently, you got a oh, shitty jelly bean. Is, yeah, this is, yeah. These are normal <laughs> jelly beans. Those are bean boozled jelly beans, <laughs> okay. which half of them are good and half of them taste like cat throw up. Mm, yep, yeah, that's, what, that's what I'm getting right now. Yeah, that's just... <laughs> I didn't think you would fall for it. <laughs> I really didn't. All the right, worst anyways. The part was, I knew he would. He tried Me to and hold Miss on. were over here like popping them left and right. <laughs> and I kind of glanced to my left and I see him notice the ball right after you set it. He's like, oh, jelly bean. No, yeah, I started was, choking was on my time and... I started choking on my good jelly bean, which made it not good. <laughs> Do you want anything to drink? I know uh, you I'm walked good. in right before we went I'm, on the air. I'm do, good. Do, I do, you, do you want a beer? Do you want a drink? Anything? We even have water. We have seltzer. I, you know, oh, maybe some water and then like uh, uh, some Elka seltzer after that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! I'm sorry. No, it's all right. No. That was a good one. Though. So, anyways, what we were talking about was Jack was getting ready to describe to Missy what a flashlight is. All right, so a flashlight. I want you to first imagine. Do you have a flashlight? No. They do you are, want a flashlight? If we get them as a sponsor, I'll get one. What is it? Fuck? All right, so you know what a flashlight is, right? A flashlight, yes. Yeah. So imagine you have a flashlight that, you know, when you're alone, you can actually open it up and then it's really soft instead of it being like all hard metal. And you can just like shove your stuff in there. So it's for a man. Yes. And it's, it's, it would be the, the top. It looks like like female genitalia, or a, mo- a lesbian, or it can look like right. lips, or it can <clears throat> look like. Uh, um, the back door? Why? Well, because there's like, anal fleshlights. I was yeah. surprised at that too. There That's is? new information. There's even alien ones. They like look like different. Whatever. Oh, I saw the alien ones that actually alien fleshlights. No, no it's not even a fleshlight. No, it's you're a, thinking of it's an uh, alien dildo. Yeah. What it's, are you guys it's, googling it's to find them? I don't know. I saw it on well, those. Well, those ones are cool because those they actually have little eggs in them. That part. And so they, those eggs get popped into the into the woman. Apparently, that's a thing that and women a thing. Wait, what? dream about being impregnated you know what? by aliens. I, I realize that I am a virgin on the internet compared to the guy this shit was on that you guys Facebook. are finding. It was a video on mm, Facebook. Pretty sure I, I've never seen that. Yes. What the they, fuck? They do you guys gay. Google that it shows up on your Facebook they feed? They have them for gay people too. Pornhub. A gay alien no, no. fleshlight? No, they're 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 called flesh jacks and stuff. You of guys are saying that it pops up on Facebook. For Maverick out there. But mm. Facebook knows exactly what the fuck you're looking up because one day I could be looking at a Jeep and you know what I'm getting? Jeep ads on my Facebook thing. You mean you don't get alien cocks on no. your Facebook feed? <laughs> no. No, I don't. That's uh, weird. I, so I, I'm I, asking I, why the guys are getting cock. Advertisements. Well, no, they're not. They're, they're, they're female genitalia. Well, I get the flashlight ones. I don't get. I don't get the alien. It, the uh, one that I ones. saw was not an advertisement. It was actually somebody sharing a video of. So, like, it didn't. When I say pop up on Facebook, like, it wasn't like an advertisement. Like, hey, oh. do you like alien cocks? Well, guess what we got for you. <laughs> no, no, it was a video that somebody was sharing. Was saying that it was pretty interesting that people are into. Stuff like that. Yeah, it's right. it's being um, inseminated wow. by aliens. It's like a inseminated fetish. by aliens. Yep, that's a thing. That's a thing. Yeah, and you know, people, and the funny thing is, is guess can you guess what the ethnic background is? Of white people. people. White are people are into all the crazy what shit. The <laughs> fuck is that? A, why? 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 See, and all I'm why? saying is, I'm sorry, but oh. that is part of our culture, and you can't Weird just step shit. all I know. What is alien what? dick is part of our culture? Where you really yes. see who, that? Is that who is the people that always come up with saying they saw a UFO? White people. True. There yeah. you go. Who always yeah. goes to Area Fifty One? It's part of our culture. It's our cultural identity is alien. Weird shit. I guess I, I, I saw I, the I video. So. All I know. Another another Facebook video that crossed my feed um, in one of my meme pages was um, a group of, once again, Caucasian people who enjoy pretending to be horses. Yes. Yeah. What? I and saw that. They, they wear bits in their mouths, and they put horse masks tack. on. Yeah. And, yeah, okay, tack. And they, you know, wear weird stuff. And some of them pull, like, a, carts. Yeah, chariots. For lack of Cheerio better words, way. yeah, yeah, that's for lack of better words, because it's like you know a woman who's riding I, on the jeep. But look, Missy, pulling, I know you've been wanting a, a pony or a horse, but just imagine that you could just pretend you have one. You could have Jake just trotting around. Get in the, the yard. fuck out of here! <laughs> and when he says trot, like literally, <laughs> they trot. No, that's weird. It is. And guess what? Every single white, all of them. As fuck. 
But wow. but see, that's the thing is, no one else has to know. It could just be a secret on your ranch. You don't have to worry about it. Just, it was not. Oh, a secret. black people Jake's don't do that. Shit. around. Black no. people don't do that shit. The, the 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 deepest that black people go is like hip hop artists that are gay that don't want anybody to know. No, we do cool shit like have whole other families in the city next door, and that. Yeah, that's the, that's. He said that, not me. <laughs> I I was not agreeing. I was just pointing that he said that. So so let me ask you. That something. was a deflection of racial bullshit. Mm. Go ahead, Brandon. Who, who are you expecting for us to get as sponsors? For not flashlight. <laughs> I'm just curious. Not flashlight. Not we're sex get, like, toys. You think we're gonna get Hallmark? What about Hallmark? That's what you, you really think we're gonna Hallmark. get. You know, Sunday Mother's special cards. Why not? Radio Why Underland not? greeting cards. Why not? Why not? Radio Underland. Why can't we get some cards? wholesome like Radio play- Underland greeting cards would be so fun. They would. It what would, about like, like super cool. fun. Yeah, that would be cool. It would oh. be something cool, like fuck off. But that would be cool. Yeah. Alright, so what do we need to do to get more wholesome sponsors like Quaker's Oats? Probably like, be more wholesome of a show. Not talk about kids nailing hookers with their dad and having that was a one off. We and, were in Vegas. And like, having, what about like coffee? Oh, okay, what about now, a coffee I cup? Into coffee. I'm pretty sure we had a show where a chick showed her whole live ass. And tits <laughs> over here. It wasn't that long. The ago. Handjob Genie was a very educational Edu- episode. Yeah. <laughs> Did you ever book Handjob Genie on your show? No, I got to get her though. I you got to yeah, get I her. Really, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's because I'm trying to get it's like, unique. I'm trying to get Polly Ann's to sponsor me down the street. So, Polly Ann's. Yeah, this yeah. sounds like a pie company. It's, it is. It's a pie company in Norco, right? It. Yeah, I'm trying to get them. So Polly's I, yeah. pies. Polly's pies. There we go. The yeah. restaurant. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I, if I, I get, if I get Genie first, so you're like, getting, well, here we go. You know, you're like, getting a, Polly's pies, and we're getting Polly's flesh pie. Right. I mean, the fuck, man. I. I'd rather have the pie. <laughs> like the actual pie, not a woman's pie. They do have awesome breakfast. I like pie. Of yeah! course you do, Jack. Anyways. Coffee, uh, pies. American pie. American, American pie. pie. Okay, so anyways, anybody do anything inter- interesting this week? Stefan, any, anything? Nothing? Can't say that I did. Just nope. went to Disney on Sunday. And what'd you do at Disneyland? Um, I went on the new Jesse Carousel. I don't even know what it's called. I think it's Jesse's Carousel. Mm, I went on that. Okay. And I took you, Jojo on your niece, uh, my your niece, niece Jojo on uh, Goofy Sky School because she's been wanting to go on it forever, and she's finally tall enough. And the whole time she was screaming, "I hate it!" Mm. Well, <laughs> that's you know, funny. that's what kids do. Uh, Jack, anything interesting happening in your life here in the in the in the the near recent past? Yes, yes. I've been I've been getting to to play more Dungeons and Dragons, and that's been really oh, uh, no wonder you're in fucking therapy. Um, what, who are you playing Dungeons and Dragons with? Well, I play it with uh, Nathan, Becky, Shanna, and also is a that couple... like, is that like called a coven of Dungeons and Dragons players? Or no, not quite. It? There's also and they happen to be new watchers of the show, uh, Nate Guzak and Crystal Guzak. I'm who's sure they right don't now. want their last name mentioned on the show. Well, too late. <laughs> and that's, that's your Dungeons and Dragons <laughs> coven. Yeah. Well, I mean, we don't call it a coven because like people get kind of weird about it. But um, what do you call it? Oh, well, we just call it a group. A group of Dungeons and Dragons. Is, is it a gaggle? A, a, a gaggle of Dungeons. Who? Well, are I mean, the, like two of the characters gag, are witches. So. Wait, wait. But Dungeons and Dragons is all about role playing yes. and like and like and like inventing like being an actor in the game, right? Yeah. So what is your character in Dungeons and Dragons? I uh, see. I am the dungeon master. Are you the alien fleshlight fucker? I could be if if there's one in the game. Okay, well, no, for real. What is your personality in Dungeons and Dragons? I what literally your play persona? every single person they run across. That's me. Every potion that they drink, I made. So what are you that's fucking things. god every of Dungeons of tr- and Dragons? Yes, I am the greater god. I am above the gods of Faerun. Who I the no fuck invites you to about. play Dungeons and Dragons when you say I'm the supreme being? Because I'm actually a nice god. Really? When you play Dungeons and Dragons, you're god? Basically. And nobody, everybody's like, I mean, okay, in the Jack's way that god. you're talking about it, yeah. But imagine if I'm god and I just controlled, like, you know, majority of. Who the makes world these population. rules? Uh, I just want to know what happened. Now, actually- it was originally created by Gary Gygax, which is an amazing man. And Nate, Nate, you play with Jack, right? You play with God Jack when you're playing Dungeons and Dragons, is right? Is this like a card Correct. game, or it's like all like 
Mental. It's all mental. So you just no, make it yeah, up. Yeah, it's all mental. I can you tell you that. You just make it all up. <laughs> we I roll dice. I don't make it up. Jack makes it up. Because he's your God. He's so the, you do he, what he he's says. He's the storyteller. Okay, oh, so okay. I don't get it. So he says, this is our setting, right? Correct. And then he says, you do this. No. No. Well, then I'm confused. No, he, he presents a scenario to us. Okay. Like, give me, Jack, give me an all example right. of a scenario. Ask, all right, Nate, Nate, you ready? Okay. Oh, I'm I'm all ears oh, for this bullshit. He's been waiting all his you life enter, for that. <laughs> you enter the dungeon. You can look across the mighty crevasse and notice a, he said crevasse. a large green tapestry crevice, crevice, against tomato, one wall. Tomato. And another wall, you see a large black tapestry. In the middle is a large demon with horns is jutting large? out from his head um, with, with a long white beard and... Uh, he's wearing a hat that says Radio Underline. Fuck you, fucker. <laughs> what do you Don't do? bring me into your fantasy bullshit. Make it up on one for real. That is Hold on, we're playing. Nate, what do you do? He goes to therapy and does coloring books. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, my character's a rogue. A rogue. Do what you is take a rogue? your own character? Yes. Yeah. yes. What is do a you rogue? you guys dress a, up? A thief, basically. <laughs> You're a thief. Correct. They do not so dress up. Jack chose to be god you chose to be no jack thief. didn't choose to be god who appointed him as god the party technically. well we did basically why would you guys fucking vote for jack to be god because somebody has to drive the story and so jack is your creative the muse correct. of your mm-hmm. dungeon of dragons game that's okay. correct okay. all right so Whatever. like like he just did right there he presented a scenario and we as players would then do what we felt was appropriate in that scenario to accomplish whatever our goal was. He didn't set out a what specific goal. What is the goal? goal. What well, is the goal, Jack? Well, there wasn't a goal in that scenario. So I can, like, for example, in our current game, <clears throat> as a random encounter, as players. <laughs> a random encounter? Is this like a rest stop gay encounter? Well, he, <laughs> what the fuck? No, he's he basically wants me to attack the fuck out of you and kill you. So. <laughs> Why? <laughs> You will have advantage if you attack. <laughs> <laughs> you notice he has a weak point in his right leg. <laughs> what about his okay, elbow? Okay, so wait. What about so his you elbow? set up the story, and then what? Really, you guys no, just okay, sit around on. in a room. Jack makes up some random bullshit that there's a crevasse I, and a, a no, moat. I don't even know a what a crevasse is. So a, a keep crevice, going. A crevasse is a hole in the ground. Okay. So, crevasse right. it's shit the step. A crater. Is. So, for yes. example, no. So, for example, when we started off the game that we're currently playing, the group of players uh, were in a town. D and D one hundred and one. We ran into a gentleman who sent us on a quest or mission, however you want to look at it. He gave us a wooden box, and we were to take that wooden box to a specific person in a town uh, other than the one we are currently in. And, uh, and so we had a goal, and our goal was to take this box to said person in a different town. How many hours do you guys uh, how many you guys play on Friday nights? Yeah, we yeah. we have And okay. how many hours does this session go? Depends on when people Hopefully if we try to get it in at least 4 hours. It's not always possible. 4 hours. And yeah. how do you know that the night is over? Just when we It's a good stopping point. Yeah. And you're just making up this bullshit and sending these other six people in the room on these random quests, because you're the Dungeons and Dragons god. Well, to an extent, like some of it's like pre-planned, and something you I've pre-plan it. Yeah, they don't know about it. No, correct. Do and you have a notebook go where, against my plans? Do you have a notebook where you write down like your Dungeons and Dragons mm-hmm. plan? You do, but they usually players will not usually just go with what you think they're going to go with. So you have to work off the fly. For instance, I send them on a mission, but what did you do, Nate? We didn't kill the skeletons. We freaking... No, Nate. When I gave oh you the box, God. it was time for you to start Steph. your mission. Where did you go, Nate? They went to the fucking party. Don't look at them me. getting all amped up about the their Dungeons and Dragons Yeah, so game. instead of like doing what they're supposed to do, they ran off to go to I the fairgrounds the to go time. watch an airship come in. Then they went to a party. Like, like it, it was... It, it took them... It wasn't until the second game... 
that they actually even bothered going. They went to the party. I'm very confused. Not me. Oh, I think we're all confused with I their went, little Dungeons oh, and Dragons game. We went to game. a party, I but just, you really didn't go to a party. So what are you guys really doing? I, I think if the I, uh, Jack, I think the flashlight the people saw this, they definitely sponsor you. Definitely, <laughs> just based <laughs> upon the last five minutes of Dungeons and Dragons, <laughs> they were just like, oh yeah, right? they definitely need. Is that how right? Yeah. We're actually we thinking about like? maybe possibly uh, mm-hmm. running that on Twitch at some point. We don't know yet. Oh. Dungeons and Dragons. You yeah. want to do your own Twitch yeah. show on? Yeah. Okay, whatever. Maybe eventually, not at first. All but right, well, I'll tell you what. Can you get our, our guest yes. on, on, the, on the line tonight, which is Mr. Tyler420? Maybe we can have uh, some stimulating conversation with somebody that doesn't fucking dick around in their grandma's basement playing Dungeons and & Dragons and chasing skeletons and bullshit. Actually, what's surprising? Actually, what? It wouldn't surprise me if he played Dungeons & Dragons. You think the guy that we're going to talk to on the <laughs> phone plays Dungeons & Dragons? He has at least played, if not heard. Well, you, nobody can hear you because you're not on a fucking microphone. You Muslim freak, you. And I'm just saying, I, oh, shit, I just pissed off all the Muslim people. Uh, do not put our address up for the show tonight. <laughs> <laughs> do not. Uh, when I, I say Muslim gonna... freak, I'm not talking about Muslims. I'm talking about you and your Pakistani beard bullshit going on. I was going to politely ignore sure that whole thing like it never even happened. <laughs> Tyler, kind of are you on, on the phone yeah, right now? Yeah. Tyler, are you there? Yeah, buddy, I'm here, man. Okay, I got one question for you right off the bat. Before we before we Yo. delve into anything, have you ever played Dungeons yeah. & Dragons? Have I, I'm a heterosexual male, man. So <laughs> I've never played Dungeons Do you, and Dragons. But you know what it is? Of course he knows. I what know it what is. it is because I watch fucking Stranger Things, and they fucking <laughs> played that back in like the seventies. <laughs> all right, so Tyler, you're the host of what is the name of your show? Because we've been fucking up your name all night. But it is called uh, <laughs> the Terrible. Uh, Conservative, I'm the host right? of the Terrible Conservative Man. And what is your show about? All right, so uh, I am. It, it was hard to to classify me politically. It's not really that hard, but it, it's hard for people to like grasp it. Um, I was on here earlier and I think, uh, I, I think it was Brandon who was saying that I, um, I, I think of myself as a libertarian. I actually am a libertarian. It's just that my only, in my, in my personal life, I have more conservative views. I don't force them on other motherfuckers, but oh, like in my own life, point. I have, you know, more conservative views. But I am a terrible libertarian because I love fucking smoking weed. I curse like a motherfucker. I don't have any inclination to believe in religion, but, uh, a lot of other conservative <laughs> views I hold. Okay, so hold on. Let's let's rewind this back just a tad. Okay, so for the casual listener that's tuning in, which they're probably not, but anyways, for the casual listener that's tuning in, what does libertarian mean to you? So libertarian man is is a it's your political party. It's also an ideology that we believe in the smallest amount of government possible, right? Um, there. Are so why would why would smoking mean, why would smoking weed be a problem for that? You're going to have anarchists and then you're going to have minarchists like I am. Mi- hold on, that's a new word for me. This is like some Dungeons and Dragons shit. That's what new. Is, what is minar? Yeah, I don't know. What's minarchist? Minimalist. So minimalist. Uh, minimalist. Uh, I would I would argue that we're super we're more pragmatic. So we believe that the that the only form of government that you should have is really just for your military, uh, for policing, courts, and uh, prisons. Anarchists they're they're like they're fucking psychotic. So they just believe Brandon. that you should just eliminate all government and then just let motherfuckers have a free for all, and that it's going to be better somehow. Uh, but it won't. Let, so, let, me yeah. let me ask you something. Would it, would you Here comes say, your fellow black man. Hang on a second. <laughs> would you say that... This a fellow uh, black man? Well, allegedly. I am just allegedly. reiterating what he says. No, hold on. You had Brandon on your show here last week, and you guys were talking about Endgame, right? Yeah, yeah that, we were just having a conversation about Endgame. Yeah, but in that conversation, did it ever come up that Brandon identifies as a black man? Brandon's black? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Black. It's a shot to all of us. <laughs> is this like some hidden shit? I had no idea. <laughs> no, it is not. It For the is record, not. that was pretty close to my reaction when I found out. Right. <laughs> and now let's rewind. When, when a little did bit. you find out? Uh, a couple years back, actually. Okay. It's so so wait, curious- are we are we fucking joking? Or no. Are we being no. Right? So no. Serious. Yeah. Real. Like yeah. so serious right now. He okay, legit what, what identifies is Brandon's as actual uh, race. I'm black. When we get his birth certificate, we'll find out. No, no, sure, I'm not yes. saying what do you fucking identify as. This isn't some transgender shit. I'm switch saying what were you born as? What, what is? What, what are you? I was born as a black man. Bullshit! 
Bullshit! You fucking liar! Dude, I'm black as fuck. If you actually, if you actually do have like black in your heritage, then I'd say sure. You could be one eighth black or one whatever. Thank but you. like, I'm as black if, as plus. Are you telling me that you really aren't that? You just want to identify? No, I'm as black as plus. No, I want to see your genealogy. Jesus we got to do this freaking. Yo, we need, map, to... we need to map out this motherfucker's genome. Legit. The present I gave to Jake for Christmas that he has not used, we're going to use it on him. Because That's because the government gets involved in DNA tests, and I'm Thank not going to do it. Well, we're going to do but, it, because I want to know what percentage of him is actually Me? Black. No, It's going to say, like, 0.003%. <laughs> hey, I'm blacker than uh, Elizabeth Warren is Indian. Well, that's not you know saying what? much. You know what? Uh, you might be. You might be. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever ran across somebody? Because, you know, you're, you're a man of the people. You're out there. You're on the Internet. You're doing your show and all this kind of stuff. Have you ever ran across somebody that is as not black as Brandon that identifies as a black person? No, because that's fucking retarded. <laughs> yeah, I like this guy. I like him a lot, Brandon. He I did say you conservative would. views. He's a okay. cool guy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so fucking so, transracial. So so check this out. This is what yo. So I really thought that y- he's just fucking with me. So apparently he's not fucking with me. It's just real. No, it's. It, I, it's I just swear real. to God. Okay. All right. Now assuming that I don't know what his fucking genealogy is, but assuming that he really is just fucking Caucasian, identifying as black, that's got to yeah. be the weirdest shit I've ever fucking heard. Right. And so this is can I identify black- as like a fucking? It, when you're tr- you're trans. What the fuck is the difference between that and transgenderism? It's the nothing, same thing. Nothing. It's a psychological condition. I, well, I shouldn't say that out loud. Yeah, you're right. That is a psychological condition. Now, see, you could just say that, like, why do you have to be transracial? Why can't you just say, yo, I'm down with the homies? Right? Why do you got to say you're fucking Why can't you be a supporter, because, Brandon? Right. Be, well, because the supporters have to sit in the back of the bus, first of all. Second of all... I, I, dude, seriously, they told me to go sit in the back of the fucking bus. They told me to go fuck off. Who is Second, they? The, the organizers of like the people that... Oh, the white right. people? Because you were on a minority walk. You were out doing a political yeah, activism. You were on a minority a walk. And because you were white, they told you to get into the back of the crowd. Basically. Even though you were a proud black man. I was blacker than most of the people that were out there. Goddamn right. <laughs> Do you right? see no, what we so, deal so with on so it? Let me let me let, let, let me ask him this question. What makes him black? What, oh, what, what is black? It's what not his black? dick. I'll tell you that. Let, what's how, number how, two? First of all, how do you know? I don't know. I'm just assuming <laughs> on a fucking. It, let's just call it an educated guess. Well, he is married to a white woman. We all know how much Sponsored they enjoy by that. Sponsored flashlight. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right? Okay. No. So, you know so what? what a lot of you, black dudes marry the white chicks now. Yeah. So now, that's, now, that's fine. now, now, Tyler had a good question. What makes you black? I mean, we've talked about shit. Okay, no, this, no, every, we have not. We have not. We talk about this shit. Okay. Uh, well, first of all, uh, I am one eighth black. I'm as black as Plessy. You're so one eighth. How do you know that? Because because I'm Mormon. Or I Yo, am, what is he saying? He's as black as pussy. Plessy. Plessy. Plessy oh, versus I was about Ferguson. To say, what Plessy the fuck ver- are you versus about? Ferguson. All right, go ahead. And 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 I grew up in the hood, you know. So now he like, just he just admitted that he's only one eighth black. So I've said that he, before. So how can he be one eighth black and say that he's a black man? I'm blacker than you most of the black people. You just said because you grew up in the hood. You grew up in Santa Barbara. No, I didn't grow up in Santa Barbara. <laughs> Where did you grow up? I grew up in Visalia. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've never right. been to Visalia, so I guess that's the hood. I'll take his word the, for it. There is a hood in Visalia. I'm sure it's probably Meth Central. Boy, yeah, it's it's in the Central Valley of California, and it's either white farmers or and Fresno's migrant workers. Gangster. Fresno, okay. yeah. No, so wait a minute. Okay, so you grow up in you grow up in the hood, so that makes you black. So does a male that grows up with all women in his community does that make him a woman? Mm. Depends on if he acts like a bitch or not. <laughs> Depends oh, if he acts like a bitch or not. Well, that's yeah. a good. That was a solid answer. That really was. That was a solid answer. I, I think so, it so, me so okay, so by by you not acting like a bitch, that makes you black. <laughs> no, no. See, now you're conflating the question here. You see, you're talking about if a, this is a, a, a weird fucking topic, Brandon. <laughs> you're Easy conflating to get the two. The, you're conflating the two. See, on one hand, you have a man my mic off of okay, is right, right, surrounded right, by women. Some popcorn, All right, yeah, have you ever seen the jerk? Right. Yes, we have seen well, the jerk. Change, and guess what, Brandon? The camera to him so I can look at him. The jerk is a comedy about a white guy that thinks he's fucking black. He he was it's a black. comedy. It, They're making like a fun of the whole idea. You've never seen the jerk with Steve Martin? Nah. 
Dude, you gotta watch oh, that. You, it you is the greatest movie. fucking yeah. movie ever. Like Malibu's most wanted? No, 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 no. no. Worse. <laughs> like, like, like. This was what late eighties, I think. No, late seventies. Late seventies. Uh, Steve uh, Martin at his best. He got to write the whole thing. It's a great movie. You get a it's check. hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. He is yeah. a he is a poor oh, the, the dude from Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. Yes. Yes. yes, yes, yes. And he grows up by he's raised by a black family, and he thinks he's a a black man, but he's obviously white. And he goes out to find his. Uh, I don't. He, I don't know what he goes out. He to just find, he goes he's out just to a black in man. the world, yeah. And he 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 kind of uh, make he becomes a millionaire, billionaire, selling a product, and then he loses it all because of what happens. And yeah, it's, I don't want to ruin the ending for you, but it's a good movie, The yeah. Jerk. The yeah, jerk. you got to watch it. And the yeah. title the of the jerk. movie is called Brandon the Jerk for thinking that he was black. No, it was the jerk because of the way people treated him. Okay, let's get beyond this because we 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 croach on this subject every fucking show about Brandon. I don't and know his... why you bring it up <laughs> because it's fucking entertaining as fuck when I get a stranger on the phone to say, "Hey, the guy that's been talking to you, did you know that he identifies as black?" That's fucking entertaining. We got to we got to clip out all of the reactions every time that you of ask. guest when they find out that you're black. Yes. Yes. Yeah, well. <laughs> yeah, you should make it like a compilation. You yes. should make a compilation. A collage. A collage. We'll do it. So anyways, Ty is a host of the conservative show, Libertarian Conservative Show, The Terrible Conservative. Now, I so why is it that in your opinion that most black Americans gravitate towards the democratic party because they've been brainwashed by the fucking liberal media man liberals own the media they they just they fucking own it and then you have uh uneducated ignorant ass celebrities that are endorsing this bullshit and 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 it just perpetuates man and then especially black black folks in general like Especially, I mean, Brandon's talking about living in the fucking hood. So black folks in general, I sell you. you know what I'm saying? They are going to like hip hop for they don't even grow up with fathers. So like they just look to hip hop to, uh, you know, how they should act, how they should dress, how they should do whatever. And then you have these black hip hop rappers and everybody who are, who are basically pushing out Republicans saying that they're racist and, uh, you know, furthering democratic bullshit, man. Stefan. I mean, you know what? I'm asking you. You're the closest thing to. You're well, like, what, you're, what are you, you're, what like are you? you're about one eighth black or something like that, right? Uh, probably a lot, a lot more than that. Yo, is but. everybody is everybody on the show one eighth black? I'm one eighth no. black. No, no. <laughs> uh, I'm, you guys I'm, all make up like together. You guys all make up one real black person. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds about right. That sounds about right. Our powers combined, we will become one black person. There we go. No, my mom's black. I'm just a mixed kid from the from around the way. You know what I mean? So, um, but not, what 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 I mean? I, I'm this is my thing. When it, the whole political thing, you guys, this is your guys' thing. Like I, politics don't reach this far down the totem pole. You know what I mean? Yeah, they do. Nah, every they time don't. you register your car, every time you buy food, every dude, do you know how much it. money you're putting in taxes? I gotta pay it. That's not Democrat. That's not that's not Democrat versus Republican. That's just government in general. Yeah, that's why prices I'm an are gonna go higher. Gas is always gonna go up. Food's always gonna go up. The things you need are always gonna go up. The cost of everything is gonna rise, no matter what you do, no matter what you vote, no matter who the fuck you vote for. I'm it doesn't matter. Sowell. All the money sure. that they're getting yo, is all yo, going yo, into yo, somebody's pocket. Can, can I interject for a second? Sure, sure. Please do. And don't and, and and don't take offense to this, but that is some weak ass shit. That, no. that is some weak ass shit. That that is what. Uh, that's why we don't have enough people voting the right thing because you believe that. Uh, and I was the same way, bro. I was the same fucking way. I was like, why do I need to talk about politics? There's plenty of motherfuckers that can talk about it. But then my uncle actually was like, yo, don't you think you should have a fucking opinion on the country that you live in? Yeah, I probably should have a fucking opinion. So like, you realize when you actually start looking at politics, and the shit is fucking addictive, by the way. Okay, this when is- you start looking at it. Um, You'll see shit that is just fucking wrong. How does so, it, like Republicans, how does it change? Republicans are bad too. I, you know, what I mean, I, I side more with Republicans on most things, but they're just fucking. They're as bad. They're all against but, us. They're like all libertarianism, against, man. What you're talking about? <laughs> we want to eliminate just just nearly every one of those government regulations and well, what you, what you were talking it will about. Never so, happen like, as long as the rich that, stay rich. Then you should like start this movement. You should you no, should, you should get, no get down with it. Hmm. The rich are going to stay rich. The poor are going to stay poor. It's about money. It has nothing to do with politics. 
Politics so, so, are based on money. Everything, everybody's why, political why, background why in their the basis. Why poor? They want money. Everybody wants money. The, so the people who why, are rich want the, money. Why do the poor stay poor? Because they don't have any money. <laughs> they, so, so, so how do they get money? You work. You do shit. You handle your okay. business. I mean, it's just this. I, I, you know, I don't want to get too deep into it, especially considering I do what, what my basis is. No, I mean, uh, you know, well, we already know my routine, but <clears throat> a lot of the rules and laws and regulations and stuff are, are 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 made to affect everyone, but they really don't. They really don't. They affect the people that don't have money. They affect the people who don't have money because, like I said, it, it's just basic. All the rules, the laws, and things they make are just. They're laws that are made so that the people who have the money talking about? to keep everything. Like we're generalizing everything. And no, you so have no, because it is, it is a general conversation. It's literally general. Every law that is passed is based on money. Every rule and regulation that is passed in this country, there is a financial background. Somebody is gaining money behind these laws and everything that, that the country passes as a whole. As a people, they don't give a fuck about us. They don't, give a, they don't care about the people. They, they play like they're about us, and, and, and they say that they're about us, but in the end, everybody's just trying to line their pockets until they leave. Do you think that money's yet. not important? Do you think that the rich shouldn't stay rich because they got there on their own merit? No, I'm trying like, to get it there. Like, no, I'm it sounds pretty there. fucking close to communism. No, I'm trying to get there. I'm trying to get there. I'm just saying okay. there's a, this it's just it that's what it's all about. That's what it, this was all based on. So everybody talks about politics like, oh, we're worried about health care and we're worried about you saving money on your taxes and, and paying less for gas and shit like that. And it's, it's yo, just yo, not the o- truth. Octoroon, Octoroon Brandon, you still here? Oh uh, yo, what's up? What's cracking? Did you call him Octoroon? One, one, eight, one eighth black Brandon. Um so we we, like we both agree with, with, with capitalist society, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm down with capitalism. All right, I just want to make sure that we, we both agree. No, 100%. That, well, I mean, see, where you and I differ is that I want to take capitalism to the next logical step. You see, you stop it at the border, and I'm saying that free markets, free trade, doesn't end at an imaginary line in the ground. See, and that's where I think where you and I really disagree. What do, what do you mean? Are you are you ANCAP? You're anarchist? Oh, hell yeah. 100% ANCAP. Okay, so hold on. So what are we talking about today? Because I don't know how much I can divert. I don't uh, know what we're I'm talking about, about either. Hey, we're just having a conversation. I like where it's going. Okay, all right. So... Uh, Explain to me, Brandon, sure. uh, convince me, convince me, explain to me how a private court, private police, no military, separate militias, tell me how that would be better than what we have now. Well, I mean, first of all, you know, whenever Japan was uh, thinking about invading, they weren't worried about our military. They were worried about the rifle behind every blade of grass. That's first of all. So I think that a militia that is trained and did organized speak, is much better. Did you speak to a bunch of Japanese folk and they told you that? I mean, you know, it's... No, no they stopped talking to him when he said he was black. They were like, ah, oh, fuck <laughs> you, yeah. crazy white guy. They stopped all negotiations when they're like, wait yeah. a minute, you're black? <laughs> yeah, this guy's fucking crazy. Let's go. <laughs> but, Come but, on, Kim. Let's roll to the next place because this guy's crazy as fuck. <laughs> but uh, uh, besides that, uh, I mean, inherently, the, like you said earlier, it's it's uh, selective enforcement. It's it's misapplication of the laws. You know, laws aren't equally enforced, and therefore they shouldn't be enforced at all. Um, the collective has no rights that the individual doesn't have as well. So, I mean, there there are a lot of uh, things whenever you're looking at, you know. Um, why do I not break the law? I mean, there are some laws I do break. There are some laws that I don't break. Uh, that's regardless of, of it being a law. It's, it's, it's based on my moral character. I don't harm people not because there's a law in the books that stop me from harming people but because i don't think it's the right thing to do you know and all right let me let me me interject here for for a quick second man so anybody that's listening or anybody even on on here in your studio that doesn't understand what anarchism is uh, you know compared to other parts of libertarianism so if somebody let's just say if somebody commits a crime right say that you uh you murder somebody right if you commit a crime in an anarchist society In an anarchist society, what they believe um, is coming to the table and discussing what the actual penalty should be. Like me as the murderer and you as the as the father of the victim come together and we discuss what my penalty should be if even I decide to show up. No, right? I mean like so that, that's that's one that, take that's on the, it. That's the craziest shit I've ever heard. No, no, and, and, and that that is uh, one perspective. My perspective is that it's the father's right to exact control.ed House of Representatives in an effort Man. to alleviate the effects Netflix. of the anyone. So what anyone? I'm saying is, is that you also Great have Depression. 
uh, equitable the response. Anyone? Motherfucker. Anyone? The tariff bill, <laughs> the Holly Smoot Tariff Act, which... Anyone? Anyone raised or lowered? <laughs> raised. Come on, come on, okay. No, seriously. Um, uh, to, to me, I think that actually an equitable response is justified. So if you're saying that, like, uh, I'm the father, someone kills my son, you know, I'm not going to bring him to the fucking table. I'm going to put a gun to their head and shoot him. You know, I'm not going to wait for, you know, the police to respond and try to do an investigation and maybe do something about it. I'm going to handle that shit. You know what I mean? Like, so it, it's, it's one of those. So in this scenario, how do you know that he killed him? Mm. Well, I mean, here we how? go. Where, where the fuck is the due process? What what due process? I mean, is there due process now? Where the fuck do people come in to actually see if it's legitimate instead of somebody like you just saying some some crazy shit? Oh man, if if I found out that that you know someone killed whatever, I'm just gonna go handle that shit. I didn't even know that the shit really happened that way. Well, I mean. I think that there comes to a point in time where if if in the courts you have money, you can buy your your freedom regardless of what the law is. So how is that any different? I mean, it's called it's called uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, oh shit! It's uh, called it's called it's called insanity. Okay, let's talk about let's hey, let's talk about something that even li- less of us can relate to. Okay, so in North Carolina, right, the, the, this chick just won the hundred meter and two hundred meter dash. When I say chick, I mean a chick with a dick. In high school sports, right now, there's a... Well, I'm being real. I'm being real. In the news right now, in North Carolina, it could be South Carolina, but who really gives a fuck whether it's it was North or South? actually Connecticut. Or Connecticut, another state we don't give a fuck about. But anyways, there was there was this... Uh, the, the, the national or the statewide championship, right? Okay? And it was the, the track and meet field... Uh, the track and meet track and field. That one, track and field beat, was won the 100 meter and the 200 meter by a transgender male that participated as a female. Brandon, how do you feel about that? Let, I mean, we're getting off this whole topic that you guys are talking about. We're just we're just going into conservative and liberal issues. So, so uh, a very a very wise uh, teddy bear once said that there is no such thing as chicks with dicks, only guys with tits. <laughs> that 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 is that is what it is. Brandon so, would classify. There, there, there is. There, it, it's not a chick. And for us to sit, if you want to sit here and you know buy into it and 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 not offend them or whatever, that's fine. That's your business. But they're not fucking competing against biological fucking women. Like that shouldn't be a thing. The actual biological women did not agree to that bullshit. Right. You have you have chicks like and I talk about this all the time. You have transgender, uh, transgender MMA fighter Fallon Fox. Right. Who's a dude competing against fucking women in the MMA. And uh, in one of his his fights with this with this chick, he crushed her fucking skull in the ring. Right. right so like, right, right, right. It's, it's sitting there and I'm just like, what the fuck are we talking about, guys? Well, Felon Fox has also just got uh, her first. It, well, her first loss also. He. He oh, has lost he, lo- yes. he, lo- he lost on purpose. Okay, okay, okay. But but what what I'm saying is is what's going on in America that we're getting to this point where we've got transgender males competing against high school females for the state championship in track and field, 100 meters and 200 so, meters. So let me ask you something. Like uh, Brandon, are you cool with that? Well, I think. Stefan made the suggestion earlier that you have a transgender league or a transgender competition specifically. I'm down for that. I'm down for that. I but when it comes right. into sports. Yeah, yeah, it was. It makes more sense to me you know to what? have a specific league. I mean, because they already have men. Yeah, and the, they chicks with, women. the chicks with dicks league. If you were born with yeah. a penis and you associate <laughs> with a woman. I'm down for that. Or if you were a like, woman and on. you associate with men. Let, let me say this. I'm pretty, I'm pretty open when it comes to, like, if you, if, if Jeff is sitting here on the couch and he wants to identify as a unicorn, I'm going to say that's my friend Jeff, the unicorn Jeff. That's what he identifies as. I don't care. But when it comes to, like, competitive sports and stuff like that, come on, dude. I mean, think that, of it, that's like, where I draw the line. Those women, I mean, even think of it, think of it this way. So let, let's even take it past sports because that's just fucking crazy. Um, I mean, men even have like higher bone density. They've done studies to where women and men who have the same exact, uh, uh, body fat percentage, same weight, the man is like nine times out of ten still stronger than the woman. It just, it, it it's just, it's, it is way it, what it is, man. It's Science. biology. So, um, 
But even think of it this way. So think, think of it in, in terms of sports and, and scholarships, right? Say that you have a daughter who is competing in, in that said race or whatever, and scouts are out there looking and, and whatever, and they want to try and, uh, they're, they're out here getting, uh, a scholarship. And, uh, they offer it to this transgender that just blew past the rest of the other girls. Are you telling me that you as a father or a mother are not going to be like, what the fuck? They totally took that from my daughter because my daughter is an actual fucking girl. Of course. Yeah, that's these a, days that's parents, just, parents just pay for college. But why so. is it going <laughs> so far right now? Like, 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 why they is like the, money. Yeah, the 500, well, that post that I posted USC. earlier, uh, the only girl that's talking anything was a girl that placed eighth and couldn't make the state team. Because two transgender females actually got first and second, so because she was that eighth, knocked she her out. Not, that knocked her out, and she's the only the on, she's the only one that's even saying anything on the video that I posted earlier, and it said uh, that other girls are complaining, but because they made the team, they don't want to be bullied by saying that they think that transgender is wrong. But why are totally we at this it. point in America? Yeah, did, you, did you guys see? Did you guys see this article that just came out about the transgender? Fucking power lifter that just shredded women's, uh, 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 yeah. like all types of, of records. Yeah. What the I fuck that. is that? No. So I, I did a podcast on this one. So this fucker, Mary Gregory, uh, uh, this guy. Also known as Bob. Just recently, by the way, just recently started identifying as a chick. He's a power lifter. They admitted him into women's whatever, women's power lifting. And he fucking broke four world records. For women on powerlifting, and uh, and he did like nine out of ten, nine out of nine competitions. He won, <laughs> and I'm sitting here, and I'm just like, of course he fucking did that because he's a guy. Like, of course, of course he did that. So he still has cock and balls. Yes. Yeah. How do you feel about it? Yeah. Well, I, I'm you're, you're, curious, so you're Travis. from Philly. You're from Philly, correct? I'm from Florida. I just now live. You live in Philly. Okay. So I, I think the real question is: Is it Gino's steaks or is it Pat's King's of steaks for each Philly cheese steak? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I think that you would know that that you probably aren't too accustomed to Philly because nobody here goes to Pat's or Gino's, man. Really? Those are okay. Fucking tourist attractions. I didn't know that either until I got here. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, man, you go to fucking gyms or you go to Steve's or 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 Max's or the yeah, you don't you don't go to fucking Pat's or Gino's, man. Too too popular. You can't go there. Now I think when no, I was in the, the quality isn't there, they just got a fuck ton of lights out there for for tours. Right. Because what is it? Okay, now we're totally off topic. <laughs> off topic. Curveballs. <laughs> 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 I'm trying to do. Yeah, but what what is that Main Street? Because I've been I've been to Philly and I've I've done the cheesesteak and I, I want to say I went to gyms, but is what is that? Six Street. Well, that's that's, that's South Street, bro. You got to hit South Street. Well, I I did the. You got, got Ishka Bibbles there too. Like Ishka like Bibbles, South Street is, is, is worth I'll that. tell you yes. what. The best meal I ever had. I don't, I don't know if you've been there. I don't even know if it's still there. But uh, one time I was in Philly. I was working at an event for AT and T and HTC phones, and uh, we went to Mary Moto's. He was like the oh. first uh, Iron Chef, and he had like some fusion Mar- restaurant Mar- there. Mar- okay. Marimoto. 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 And I'll tell you what, dude. I had a wasabi. I didn't say he was white. Why does everything have to be white? Why does everything... You guys are so racist. Everything has to be d- 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 stamped down to a color. Says Mr. Black. Anyways, I was at Marimoto's, 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 whatever, and I had a, a wasabi New York strip steak, which I think was the best meal that I've ever had in my life. And we had a bunch of that sushi and stuff. Incredible. Oh, it was good. Uh, so anyways, transgender, whatever. I mean, who in this... Who? Okay. Let, let's do a little survey. Liberals. I think, I Liberals. Think, I think there's like about 12 people sitting in this room right now. Who thinks that a transgender male should be able to compete against females in high school sports? Raise your hand. You no, hear those one. crickets? Zero. Oh, Jack, get the so fuck lying. out of here. You only did it because okay. no one raised their hand. Really? You think that transgender males should be able to compete, compete against females in high school sports? As long as it is, uh, as long as what? As long as it's agreed upon by everybody that is participating, I don't think nobody's. Who's agreeing on this shit? It's not like Nobody. women wrestling just, in the wrestling team because the women yeah. are going and wrestling men. These are people that are. Oh my god, Erin in the comments raised her hand. Can we get her on the phone, please? Because Aaron? I want to. I, yes. I want to know. <clears throat> Don says no. Yeah, come on. That 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 is so unfair. Actually, I can't. You can't. But but what I'm saying is, like the transgender thing. I don't care what you want to identify as. I really don't. 
But if you want to compete against other people in competitive yeah, sports, Coleman. that's a no-go for me. That That's where I draw the line. And I'm pretty open to all this shit. Uh, what do you mean? Uh, it, should be, it, should sort really, of. it should really just be left to the organization. So, like, it yeah. should be left to them to decide. I don't think government should come in there and tell them what to do. But well, I think this shit government... is also, like, fucking fraud. If you are not making it explicitly oh clear when these women sign up for whatever sport that, look, this isn't just for women. This is also for people who identify as women. Then they can make that conscious decision. But when you say that this is women's wrestling or this is women's powerlifting, and then some fucking guy comes in, that's that that that's being dishonest. Man. See, in my like, book, hence the trans, you know, trans have their own well, I'm, thing. I'm down with that. I'm that totally down you, with that. Yeah, that way, no matter which side you're on, if you identify with the other side, I mean, you still have your own league. The where trans Olympics. You're right in the middle. That's like Michael exactly, Phelps trying the to trans Olympics. That's like, I, I would be fine with that. It's fair, right? It. That I mean, because they, they already have all men and they already have all women. But the people but who identify what it does, with the opposite, it doesn't qualify a trans male as a female being the well, no. strongest female. No, trans will be trans. In powerlifting so you're just or whatever. The strongest person in powerlifting or the fastest exactly. person. Exactly. Trans. I'm okay with that yeah. too. But you have Hold to on. agree that like it who are you talking to I on the phone? Erin on the phone. Oh, bring her here. Okay. Go Aaron, and my volume. She's got something volume. to say cuz oh, she's called Aaron, everybody. Erin, do you believe that transgender males should compete against females in high school competitive sports? 100%. Okay, where is okay, I I love you. I love you so much. <laughs> You're one of my best friends. You really are. But yeah, wh- where is the logic for this? Here's here's first and foremost, transgender people are a minority. They're not they're not the majority, they're an exception to the rule. So, my train of thought being somebody that was a high school athlete, I played 20 years of soccer. I would have had no problem whatsoever knowing that one person on the other team was a transgendered male to female. No problem whatsoever because psychologically they're female. So what? They produce a little bit more estrogen. A little bit? Chances and the boner. You're forgetting the boner. Testosterone, <laughs> first of all. Hold on. Chances are by the time that they're allowed to play sports, they're also taking hormones. So they also have more estrogen. But again, it's a minority. In high school? It's not like a girl's team is going up against a guy's team. It's totally different. Who cares? It's one person. Okay, okay. Oh, hold, hold on. Let me stop okay. you right there. But we're talking like a 100-meter race and a 200-meter race where it's not team sports. It is individual. Okay, fine. Because my thought, well, here, let me premise this with, I think sports need steroids. <laughs> wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Now, let me ask you something. shit though. interesting. Let's go back to get <laughs> baseball after the strike. Right. They were that is true. It was interesting. Right. It kept people engaged. Let people dope. I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> hold on a second. It's good. It's, it's, good. it's true. It was, it's good. It's it good makes for money. great people games. People were buying right. shit. If people are interested, they're engaged, they're spending money, fine. So Let you're pro you're pro transgender and pro doping in sport. One hundred percent. I actually I am one hundred percent for pro 100%. doping on sports. Her whole platform is just fuck it. <laughs> no, no, hold on. But let's say you have your daughter. Because here's That's the thing, at the crazy. end of the day, they're looking to make money with sports. You can't tell me that when people are doping, and let's say, okay, fine, you don't know about it. How many people were invested in Lance Armstrong? How many people were invested in Mark McGuire and Sammy Sosa? How many people love Jose Canseco? For what he did when he were all the home runs. I mean, I'm sorry. How many people hated him after they found out that they were doping? I don't give a shit. Yeah, ask for that. What ask ask her what Brandon? How many people later? How 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 many people out? like hated them after they found out okay. that they were using? Okay, Aaron, sports? because I know there's a delay in the way you're calling in, it's all fucked up. But how many of those people hated them after they found out that they were doping? Yeah, they're all fucking hypocrites. I didn't hate them at all. I was like, yeah, you made your money, good for all you. All right, so she's money. obviously the well, minority no, because out of the thirteen of us, she's the only hypocrites. person who actually believes. All the same people that hated them after were the same people that were like, oh my god, I love them so much, and all of a sudden they found out they were doping, and it was like, oh no, 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 bullshit, fuck you, you love them. 
Well, how about the high school girls that are losing uh, scholarships to go to high school to colleges because okay. they're the eighth one out and can't so get a scholarship what, because what we're asking is what about the the, the the girls that are in high Wait, school? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can I ask one question? Can sure, I ask, can sure, I ask sure, one sure. question? Let, let me let me ask one question Go because what she said is she said well they are the minority and you know there might be one person on the team or whatever but that's all as we've seen that's all it's taken is one male to be on the team you had the people that you talked about we have the power lifter that I'm talking about. You have two transgenders that are in Connecticut right now that were on the news, and they just obliterated the track team, the, obliterated the female track team uh, of any record that's ever been happened because now they're men. So just by putting these one people on said team, they are, they are, they are obliterating women. Okay. So, so what exactly well, does one person matter? I'm um, right there because everybody is talking about male to female, but nobody's talking about male, female to male. Because so they're foremost, not destroying are records. Because we don't have competitive birthing. Oh, shit. You're not talking shit. about it the other way around. So obviously, y'all are scared of girls. Either no, way. No, because I the am, girls are playing the male sports. They're not yeah. destroying mm-hmm. the guys. It's not like I'm you, sorry, like if your daughter was wrestling in high school, if your daughter was wrestling in high school and you had a person that had male genitalia that was having to manhandle in the ring, you wouldn't feel the same. You wouldn't feel the same. Oh yeah, I would, I would tell Harper to train harder and, and kick and kick their ass. It's an opponent. Absolutely. Okay, if you're, so, if you're so what if they athlete, were actually a male and not trans? That you're going to be number one. This, you know, this so whole, fine, this whole thing is bullshit. Right? This be whole better. thing is bullshit. Because let, let, let me tell you why, too. As soon as you start putting women in female sports or women in, in male sports, like say MMA, say you take a female and you put her in male MMA, as soon as, he start, as, soon as you see men start knocking the fuck out of chicks, the whole fucking feminist community and this whole community right. that you're talking about. I'll tell you what. Be like, oh my god, you got wanna, men that are knocking out women. You got men that are knocking Aaron, out women. Aaron, this listen, is Aaron, listen. I want to identify as a female tomorrow and start getting in the MMA ring. Well, I need to work no, out a little bit. No, please don't. <laughs> no, yeah, they'd probably kick my ass. I would be the exception <laughs> to the rule. But I still, I want to do it. I want to go in there. I want to go in there with a full blown beard and a thong and my in my bikini on, and I start fighting bitches. And slapping the shit out of them. Is that how they do it now? I didn't know. Putting a finger up your butt and you would submit. Oh, okay. You said something about (laughs) finger up my butt, and that's why we where we in the conversation. That's way over the line. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, everybody's so preoccupied with all of this, but it is such an itty bitty, teeny, eeny, weeny minority. It doesn't it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. So these are people. So my question is, if the, the people that are talking about athletes in this way, are they also pro-trans or not pro-trans? Are the people that support the community or don't? Because you either support them or you don't. There's no picking what and choosing. Is, what does that, what does that mean? What does support mean? Trans people. What does support mean? Aaron, what does support mean? Can't we get her on the phone? Where they can what hear you, each other? No, because that's a loaded question. What are you talking about? You're either somebody that is friendly to the lgbtq community or you're not you can't pick it's not like going through a cafeteria and what is what is being friendly have to do with anything to support them you either support them or you don't because they're a minority what and does friendly have to do with anything what, what does that have to do with anything what do you even mean by that it means that it, th- these people are brave enough to come out and be them true their true selves and you're sitting here going yeah be who you want to be but you can't play sports sorry no, nobody that. said that. First of all, you support them nobody you said that. Nobody said that. We said that you have you cannot com- you cannot be a biological male and compete in biological women's sports. That's that does not equate to us being prejudiced against them or hating them or not supporting them. Right? What we don't support is that. Look, you can do whatever you want in your own thing. You, you we, uh, I agree that you should be able to have uh, love who you want and do whatever. But in no way, shape, or form are you going to fucking convince me exactly. that you really There's are. There's the problem. Be who you want to be, but yeah, that's no. I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that. 
I'm sorry. Right. I mean, you no, know, you know what? I'm You're totally right. We should just we, we should just accept them, life. and we should just forget about science, biology, and uh, we we should just and and fuck it. We got Brandon now, who's transracial. We got other motherfuckers out here who can identify as 13 year old uh, girls, and they're 40 year old men. Uh, you know what? But you know what? You're totally right. We we should totally. Do that. I'm with you on that, Tyler. I think it's complete. But Travis, do you ever talk about this shit on your show? Uh, we every once in a while we'll bring something like this. Yeah. 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 Oh, Aaron's still going oh, crazy. Going, in the what they want to do. Uh, I just heard what he want to do. Uh, anyways, <laughs> I love Aaron. She's one of my best friends. Uh, but in that, and that brings up a point. <laughs> Aaron, and Aaron <laughs> oh, shit, somebody's calling. She's calling you because you hung up on her. <laughs> yeah. Is it? Oh, wait. Who is that? Hello? <laughs> Jack called me back. Oh, so now you're on the actual awesome. phone where you can hear now everything that's talking. going on. Oh, Jesus. Okay, okay. So, so Travis, what, what I'm saying, I don't know what I'm saying. No, Aaron is one of my best friends. Right. And, and we have it's different. True. It's true. It, it is true. Aaron, we talk like every day. Me, All the time. Every me, day. Me, Missy, Chris, your husband, and, and you. We yep. talk every day. Uh, but me and Aaron have Definitely different political. It sounds know, like it. Yeah, it sounds like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. That's a lot Absolutely. of Caucasianness right there. We need to interject some. I'm not Caucasian. Like, there's no, there's no love loss. You're right. You're not. There's absolutely no love <laughs> I might loss. look Caucasian, I mean, but Jake I'm not Jake and Caucasian. I are the epitome of differing political views and people that can still be friends. But 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 let's talk about that for a second. Don't uh, use the word but. She gets what? really mad. Uh, I, I won't use the word but. <laughs> <laughs> but in other <laughs> words. You never, hey, hey, little word for the wives, for the guys. Never, when you're fighting with a woman, use the word "butt" because she's going to come back at you tenfold. Well, I, I say it all the time. Actually, right. my favorite word is "relax." But that's oh. a whole other. Oh, oh, <laughs> Jesus! Really relax, wild. fucking a. You poor. Yo, why don't you just take it another step forward and just be like, "Calm the hell down." <laughs> oh, because because when because we're already so irritated, we didn't blow up at you because we were totally calm. Like we were like totally like irritated and then you throw the relax in there it's like no hold the fuck up oh i'm so hold sorry that, that is so passive aggressive of me <laughs> yeah oh i don't fucking a i don't do well with passive aggressive i'm married to the definition of it oh yeah chris is pretty p- passive aggressive oh jesus no but, but anyway but Aaron, but but no but, but let's talk <laughs> yeah. about this for a second because there's such a political divide in the united states where like people are just like yes. if, if you're right or if you're left we cannot actually be friends. But you and me and Chris, we're all like best of friends and we have extremely yeah. different political yeah. views. Yeah, I mean for for example, Chris and I are white, liberal. We're not anti gun. We're just pro smart is... gun laws. We're Chris scared of guns because we weren't raised with them, but I don't want anybody not to be able to own them. But yeah, no, we're totally differing and it's fine. It's fine. For my cold, dead hands. But, okay, but Aaron, do you think that it's the media that makes this divide more so than it is in actual reality? 100%. Oh, yeah. I agree with that. Oh, yeah. Tyler, I think, you agree I think with that, right? right? I, think, I, I totally think right fucking agree with that. So far, I, think, I think right media is so far right that it's creepy, and I think left media is so far left that it's creepy. It's really hard to find middle ground, and you almost have to be a really educated person to be able to wait out the bullshit. And realize what's true and what isn't. And that's where they've gained ground is on the stupidity of America because that's the majority of people that are not educated and not able to find answers on their own. They cannot seek information. And that therein lies the problem. That's what I'm saying. There's I'm like, so much. I would, so I would say that also there, there would be a problem when we talked about, especially with, with liberals and, 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 and leftism, um, is that when, so like what you said earlier is that when I asked you, you said that, well, you have to you either support the trans community or you don't support them. And I'm like, okay, so what does support mean? And then you said it's a loaded question. And then you went on to say that you, you either accept them as who they are or do whatever. That, that to me isn't – just because I give you everything that you want does not equate to support. That, that's not what support is, right? I support your right to be who you are, to live who you – to live how you want to live and to love who you want to love. But I don't support you trying to escape biology. I just – I don't. I don't support that. Right, but at the same time, one thing to think about is people that are truly tran- transgendered, more than likely by the time they get to the point what does where that they're mean? coming You're not born their transgender. Friends, they're on hormone therapy. So they're, they're already taking therapy. hormones for the, quote, opposite sex. 
to fill up what they feel inside. But do you think so, high schoolers are going through that process already? I'm sorry, Missy, I missed the first part of that question. Say it again, do you Miss. think high schoolers are already going through that process already? I think high schoolers who are competing in sports are more than likely. I mean, I'm not an ex- expert, but I would feel like more than likely as a parent, yes, your child is probably already going through that because you knew that your kid would, you probably stopped hormone therapy, or I'm sorry, started hormone therapy before puberty. So you think that it is, so you think that it's not only, you think it's safe and you think that it's morally right to give pubescent children Pre-pubescent. Therapy. Pre-pubescent. What, what I'm saying is I can't decide for other parents and I can't decide I'm not, for I'm other not people. I'm not asking about other but parents. What I'm, I'm asking but, about but what you. I'm gonna say, but what I'm going to say is that if your child comes to you when they're younger and they identify as transgender and they're adamant about it, you go through all the psychological wait a minute, wait a minute, it's, wait a not like it's, it's not like a decision that you just make overnight. Like, oh, my kid says he's a girl and... And okay, so we're yeah. gonna stop yeah. puberty. Like that's fine. No. Did you guys? Did you guys see? I, I just did. I just did an article. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm gonna interrupt you for a second. So I just did an article or a a, a podcast. Did you guys see that shit about Charlize Theron about her son who's transgender and he's seven? Did you guys see that shit? No. 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 Okay. I heard so yeah. About so it, he. I didn't read so he is transgender. That. He's transgender, right? She accepts okay. him as transgender. He's seven okay. years old. And let me tell you the okay. even the crazier shit. If, if that's not crazy enough, but how he became, how she accepted him as being transgender is she, uh, her son came to her, uh, four years ago when he was three years old, when he was three okay. and said to Charlize that, um, I'm, I'm really a girl. And then she's just okay. like, Oh, you are. So you're talking, it's a fucking three year old. It's a three-year-old. You're not even going to tell the... You're not going to allow the kid to pick his own bedtime, but you're going to allow the kid to pick his own fucking gender. I mean, how that fucking part. psychotic is that? Kids are kids. See, to me, kids I are will tell you, for trying me, to figure that, out how the world a is. Bit, that's a little bit on the extreme. I'm not going to lie to you. That's a little bit on the extreme. I'm talking about kids who started with something like that at three years old, and it never changed. It's not a phase. It kept going. It kept going. It kept going. They get to 12 or 13 years old, and it's still the same thing. It's been consistent since they were that age, and I've had them it's been with the psychologist because the you didn't whole correct time. It and tell them how the world is. Ooh. I'm sorry, I didn't hear that first part. He said it's it's being consistent because you didn't correct them and tell them how the world is. Well, and that's what I'm saying is that any quote normal parent would try and correct it, and if it didn't correct, and if the child was still adamant through all, I'm talking like the way they want to dress, the way they want to wear their hair, the way they want to, you know. The, the interpersonal relationships that they have with their peers. Or is it more with the, quote, opposite sex or their same sex? I'm not saying that you should take a three-year-old's word by any me, any way, shape, or form. What I'm saying is you have a child who's three years old. They, they identify this way. They keep saying it. They're consistent. They're not quiet about it. It happens up until their puberty. Then, yeah, it's on the parents to decide, well, hey, this has been going on pretty much their entire lives. We had them with psychologists. We've had them with doctors. We've had them, you know, with all the best experts telling us what we should do as parents because there's no rule book. You don't know what Aaron. the fuck you, I mean, from one second Aaron. to the next. I mean, there's no rule book for being a parent. So if you have a child Aaron. who's from 3 to 12 years old saying, I'm this way, at that point, I would want to talk to doctors about exactly what Aaron. normal therapy would do. And then Hello. see what's best for my child. Ty. What give I'm her, saying give her a moment. is that when it comes to sports, these are parents who have already gone through all of that and have decided that this is the best decision for their child and their child is on board with it. They're doing what's best for their kid and you can't fault them for that. Now, There's no rule book. Now, Tyler, for the record, this is why I don't argue with Erin. Whenever she says some <laughs> bullshit, I just fucking go, okay, I, I, I don't do it because she doesn't stop. But Tyler, what were you saying? So... Where where does this end? Is it only a gender, or can we can we go racial also? I'm telling you, I'm black. My what are question, you going to say? My question is, what is, I want you to tell me what race has to do with it. Oh no no, no. I want I, I'm, what I'm asking is what I'm trying to get down to is it is it only gender that you believe that people can identify as, or can people who are uh, that are not of that race can identify as a separate race, or people that are not of the same age? Right. So there, there is an article about a man 
who is a uh, a 40 something year old man married man right he was married a uh, 40 something year old man and he <laughs> sometimes identifies as a uh, as a pubescent girl wears pigtails and everything. Oh, and he, I saw this shit. Wait. Very clearly, he stated very clearly that this is not a uh, 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 like a like a, a role play thing that he's doing. He actually feels this. He is that person. Look, right. The, so sorry. would it, you it, it, would even, you accept? Okay, that's would fucking weird. He needs a doctor. I'm talking strictly on gender. <laughs> just, sorry, Grace, I have to stop um, you, Brandon. I love you, but you're white. Uh, no, <laughs> Brandon, I love you, but you're white. <laughs> I'm black as fuck. But hey, no, 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 no. Let me ask you, no. Is it why, different? Why, is it? why can't Brandon be black? <laughs> Thank you. See? No, and now you're in his defense. Uh, exactly. Okay, but now let me ask you something. Oh, no. Now that same person, if that same person had maybe multiple personalities, what, like, and, and would that make it different how you viewed them? I it, would have to take a look at the DSM-4 and read what... DSM-4? Yeah, the diagnosis for a person of multiple personalities and see if you fit the bill. And if you did, I'd say, yeah, maybe there's a black man living inside of you. Oh, not okay, me. Okay, okay. Can, about can, can we test <laughs> Brandon for that? Can we test Brandon for that? Damn it. No, so I want I wanted to get I wanted to get to this point. Okay, so you're saying that if if you did whatever research and say that okay, someone has a personality, they're a grown man, but they identify as a uh, as, as like say a 12 year old girl. If whatever. Um, Research says that uh, uh, that that's true. You would get on board with that, and you would say that that's okay, right? What I would say is, I'm not a psychologist, and I and I don't know. I don't know what I can tell you when it comes to transgender. I have read up on it a little bit. I'm no expert. That's my opinion. When it comes to what you're talking about, I have no idea. I have no idea. Okay. I'm not going to form an opinion based on one person. Okay, Aaron. Well, it's the time of the show where I change topics because uh, shit's fucking weird. Because I'm right. Because I'm right. I know. I know. I know. But, I know. but, but weird. There, and we're going to keep Tyler on the phone because we're going to we're going to play a game. Oh, we yes. have a game, right? Yes, it's a citizenship yeah. game. All right, you guys. All right, Aaron, stay on the phone. Right, because, talk, oh, you want me to stay on the phone? No, yeah, I want you to stay on the phone. Okay. Uh, you're okay, you're one I'll of my best friends. You could play the game. Yeah, we're gonna play a game. I'll, I'll play the game. I'll play and, the game. And, and the game is Brandon. What is the game called? Uh, are you smarter than an immigrant? Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> that is That's so fucked up. <laughs> are you smarter than an immigrant? This is the game we're gonna play, and we have ten questions to see whether you qualify to be a citizen of the United States. These are actual citizenship. Oh, so is questions? it like citizenship? Yeah, yes, citizenship right. questions. Yes, Aaron, it is citizenship questions. Man, I'm fucked up. Okay. Can somebody <laughs> give me another drink? Uh, anyways. I've uh, passed this test like six times when my cousins and dad and mom passed it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. All right. Uh, uh, Jeff is a, a resident Allegedly. expert on uh, taking Allegedly. citizenship <laughs> test. Uh, do we have that ready to go, Jack? Are we ready to go with this? Um, I don't have anything for that, so Brandon's going to just read it. Oh, Brandon, I know you did, but do I'm, all answer at one time, I, I, or, or do you call him? I am, as as Jake would say, a fuck up, and I fuck up. I got up. you. It's all right. Okay, so <laughs> yeah, here, here go we to go. therapy about that. Okay, so, uh, <laughs> these are multiple choice questions, and um, uh, I'll just uh, read off the questions, and then uh, you guys can give us the answer. Oh my! God. All right, sounds good to me. Damn, Stan. Are you Dan? Please, not that much. Are you American <laughs> enough to be a citizen? There you go. Are you American enough to be a citizen? That's a better name. All right, Brandon. Like go with the first question, and we're going to go to Tyler and Aaron on the phone, uh, and we're going to play this game. So, what is the first question? What is the supreme law of the land? Is Holy it, shit! I guess I'm not a yes. Tyler. Citizen, what did you say? Because... The Constitution. Ooh. Is it the Gettysburg Address? The oh, Bill of Rights. Choice. Oh, multiple choice. The Declaration of Independence or the Constitution. I have chicks with dicks for five hundred, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna yeah, go can with I chicks with dicks? Can I choose E? Yeah, no, I, I think we're all Constitution. We all got yeah. that right. It's all the right, Constitution. Yes, yes, okay, yes. question number Only two. Only eighty five percent of the people according to the poll got that correct. Question two. How many members are in the House of Representatives? How many voting, specifically, how many voting members are in the House of Representatives? Are there two? Is there yeah, 200, word, yeah. 435, 426, what, or 345? Well, Tyler said 435, well, I, and so did Aaron. I, I believe him. The fact that I was born here and oh, I'm, I'm sorry, an American citizen. I did, I Aaron said 436. 436 because of Puerto Rico. Because of Puerto Rico. There, 
They're not members of the house. It's 435. It's 435. Oh, Puerto Rico's not a member of the house. Me. Did it's I a, not interrupt and wait to the, to, to the choices are out there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. At least for all that. Because right, I know right, that right. you got this, brother. All right. Let's, let's so, let them give the multiple choices. And only 54% of the people got that right. How many justices are on the Supreme Court? Nine, two, seven, fourteen. Now that nine. I know. That's nine. Nine. Yeah. nine. That That's one nine. I knew. Only 71% of the people got that mm. one right. I guess I can go back to Mexico. That's a cool seat. <laughs> how many <laughs> amendments does the Constitution have? How many amendments? Yes. How many amendments are there? Oh, 10, shit. 10, 27, 23, or 17? Well, Tyler said 27. So. What? And Aaron said 23. I was going to go with everything Tyler says. <laughs> do I win? Yeah. I honestly, so I honestly don't know. I do, I do. Steph, do you have any? I don't even fucking need the multiple questions. Just give me the damn. Just give me the regular question. Oh go. well, Tyler's all getting cocksure and shit. Remember when we had uh, <laughs> how many? C-O-C-K. How many questions are on that thing? Uh, ten. It's ten. We're, oh, okay. we're, we're, we're getting there. We're, we're trapping through. Only fifty percent of the people got it correct. The, the and it is twenty-seven. That the, the seniors get because someone who is younger gets like over a hundred, but seniors literally only get like ten. And Tyler, I know that for I'll a fact. Over, Tyler, I'll do over a hundred. I'll do over a hundred. Tyler right is now, definitely cock sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's from an old guest that we had on the show. Uh, okay, um, Coach Dave. So, uh, yeah. what do we call the first? Cock. Ten am- what? Go ahead. What do we call the first ten amendments of the Constitution? Cock. Bill of Rights. Oh, the, the Bill of Rights, yeah. dumbass. The, the Magna Carta, the preamble, the Bill of Rights, or the Emancipation the Proclamation. Smoking dope and getting high? You know, only 90% of people got that right. I'm kind of surprised. That's only? That's not how many, out of how 10. How many people? Uh, this was a poll that was done by NBC where they took the question. Because That's, they were too busy. We're having homo sex. Wait, you said 9 out of 10, right? That 9 out of 10 people got that right? Yeah, but still, only 9 out of 10 people will That's know that. That's fucking 90%. That's an A in every book you look in. All right. <laughs> what are you talking about? That's a passing grade, Brandon. Okay, next question. Next, next question. question. Which of the following is not a branch or part of the government? Mm. The executive, financial, financial, judicial, or president? Financial. 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 Only 83% of the people got that right. <laughs> but the president it was executive one of them because he's part of the executive. Yeah, but the president's but also part of the not. government. So um, what are the two parts of the U.S. Congress? The Senate and the House of Representatives, the Committee and the Assembly, Supreme Court and the Legislature, or the White House and the Capitol? Well, the first Senate one. Is and House. Senate and House. A. See, 94% of the people got that right. Okay, that's smoking so dope right. and getting high. That's yeah, good, that man. part. Yeah. Shout good. out to good fellows in Red Room. Uh, what territory did the United States buy from France in 1803? Homo sex. Jesus. <laughs> Hawaii, Louisiana, Puerto Rico, or Alaska? Homo sex. Can you repeat the answers? Yes. Louisiana. Hawaii, Louisiana, Puerto Rico, or Alaska? Louisiana purchase. Right. Louisiana. We're having homo sex. Jesus. Uh, what is the economic system of the United States? Mm-hmm. Socialist, capitalist, dual economy, or command economic system? Well, okay, today, so wait, this is a trick question. This yeah, is a trick question. Today, is this, un- in- is this until Bernie gets elected? Because then it's fucking socialism. Oh, exactly. Exactly. Shit. Tyler nailed it. It's going to be. So- oh, and, and Aaron? Aaron? Yeah. Who do you want for the next president of the United States? To be honest with you, I'm. I haven't picked a candidate yet. There's Out of the a couple 30. that I like on the Democratic ticket. There's a couple that I like, but I think the women are going to eat each other alive. And I think there's too many women running. And I know coming from me, that says a lot, but I think there's too many women running and they're going to eat themselves alive. But I have a couple candidates that I like. I just want to see where it goes. What about Bernie? I'm 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 between Bernie, Biden, and Harris. Not Biden. Oh. What the hell? So How could you we're, do we're Biden? Between, we're between the socialist, creepy awesome. fucking Joe, and who's the other? Because there's that. awesome hold memes. That. That's why. Aaron, let me ask you about this. Let me ask you about this. If we're just going on. by memes, I'm going with Joe Biden. <laughs> you guys have to go straight up. If we're going, we're going by exactly what he said. If whoever has the rawest memes, we're going with Joe Biden. 
All right, Aaron. What about Uncle Creepy yeah. Joe? With him, like, like putting his hands all over those little little girls and shit. You're you're cool with that? You know, he's affectionate. He's not. No, 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 no. Oh. Yeah, yeah oh. Ted Bundy's hungry. Come on, Aaron. Straight up, if Joe Biden gets the nomination, the Democratic Party loses. There's no way. Oh, you're, Joe's you're going to be able wrong. to win. You're not wrong, but that's what I'm saying is that I'm between a few candidates. And I'm I'm not against so, Biden. Oh, I don't Aaron, think Aaron, can I ask you a question wrong, personally? Aaron, question. Aaron, would you let would you let Joe Biden sniff your hair? <laughs> oh my God! Yes. Yes. She said yes. Okay. Oh I'm not, God! I'm, he could sniff me all day. I love him. I am not, okay, Aaron. Aaron, listen, listen closely. And I'm not yeah. going to say your daughter's name. I'm not going to say that on the air. But you, would you let okay. Uncle Joe sm- sniff your daughter's hair? That's just yeah. weird. Yes. There was a pause. There was a pause. Yeah. Get yeah. the fuck out of here. You know what? Oh. He was probably just going to give That's her like a letting your kid go to the fucking Neverland Ranch. Oh. I'm pretty sure that was just no. for comedic. No, she couldn't go to Neverland. Okay. It's not real. No, what? okay, but I mean, aren't dead. you all about diversity? Yeah, why why are there only white men, old white men that you're supporting? Plus, he was in the boys, so. Um, you know. No, right. yeah. that's not Harper's Aaron. I think, yeah. I think oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. What, what was that, Aaron? I also said Kamala Harris. She's oh, actually get the fuck in the black. Get the fuck so. out of here, dude. Yo, she's she's, she's yelling. yelling. Who's screaming in the back? Yeah, but it's, <laughs> it, isn't, isn't Kamala Harris an old white dude, anyways? Yeah. No, 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 not at no. all. We don't claim that, and I'm no. and I represent the old white dudes. <laughs> no, she prosecutes like one. Okay, and, and I, and I lo- as much as I love Beto, he's not going to win. Oh yeah, unless they're cops, I keep forgetting. All right, about Brandon. That yeah, next question as, for oh, yeah, for our last citizenship. One. Last test. question. This is the last question. Um, Oh, we never said the answer to that one. The answer for the record is capitalist market economy. Yeah, we know that. Okay. The idea of self-government is in the first three words of the Constitution. What are these words? We the people. We the people, baby. Yeah, only 88% of the people got that right. Wow. Well, that's In order to form a more perfect union, found and on, I can't remember the rest. <laughs> you know more than I do. Yeah, well, yeah. okay. That's for sure. And I'm one of the original people. All right. <laughs> yeah, Nate you has are. been taking a tally and tie one. Tie one for tie citizenship. Got every wow. single one. He did. Okay. And Jeff got it too here in the in the studio slash. Because he wants to make America tie. great again. So baby. for right, yeah. uh, for Wayne, <laughs> we're going to be sending you one of our Radio Underland coins. Oh. To who? To tie. Uh, yeah, we should. Yeah. Oh yes. That's cool. yeah, yeah. yeah. Send him one of the coins. So so what is the coin? Uh, we'll collect your information later. It's well, a, we've a, we've got these. It's I can't glor- reach him. It's a glorified pog. We've got these collectors is. coins Don't that put are it numbered. On the camera. You're yeah, gonna get. Pl- you're gonna get number one seventy three, and it says Radio on- Radio Underland Raw Truth. Uh, here, Brandon, put that on the camera and That's show it to. That's dope, him. man. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. It's 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 a it's some shit that we're dealing with because we're basically we're getting sued and we're trying to raise okay. money. But yeah, anyways. <laughs> uh, Tyler, thank you so much for coming on the show. We had a fun time tonight just bullshitting about random shit. And uh, make America great again. If that's on your hat. And, uh, yeah, man. When you're, whenever Jesus, you're in- where did you guys find that picture of me? Ew. Who was- <laughs> that was been Jack. been up for, like, the last 30 minutes. That was Jack. And that's, that pl- the, that's the one you picked, Jack? Seriously? Oh, my God. I was trying to find one where you're alone. Well, There's a million great pictures, but you weren't alone. I can't help that I'm constantly surrounded by my fans. I know you're oh constantly surrounded. It was very hard to find a picture that where I can go, <laughs> just that girl. Okay, <laughs> that for the record is because you're uh, fucking awesome, Aaron. That's why. All right, Aaron. Yeah. I, so if anybody, if anybody's wondering who I am, there you, there you, there you go. I, I mean, if anybody the lucky in mama. the community, <laughs> in the community doesn't know who I am by face, there it is, right on your screen. All right, Aaron. I love you so much. Miss loves you. I know. We both love, love you. you. Guys too. You're one of my best friends, even though sometimes mwah, I th- mwah. love you guys. I love you too. Sometimes I think the shit that you come up with politically, you and Chris is batshit crazy, <laughs> but whatever. I still love you. And uh, thank you so much, Aaron and Tyler. Thanks so much for coming on the show. I know that we didn't we didn't change the world. We didn't mar- Martin Luther King this shit at all. We talked about bullshit, but it's a good conversation. It was good. 
It was a good conversation. Yeah, man, I, good, appreciate, yeah. I appreciate you uh, you having me, and uh, it was fun as shit. Uh, no hard feelings to Erin when she looks back in there when I was debating her. No hard, no hard feelings. Uh, and uh, yeah, man, thanks for having me. Yeah, man, Tyler. I'll, I'll tell you what. If you ever get down to California, we got to go hang out, and we'll hang out at Disneyland, right, Brandon? We'll go hang out at Disneyland, have a good time. Brandon, what are you fuck are you doing? I tell you what, Ty. I agree. Yeah, we should hang out at Disneyland. We should, I'll be uh, in have... Philly later this year. In November. Are you? I, yeah, yeah. You're I'll going be, to Philly? I'll be in Philly. My, my, I have, I'm from Jersey originally. So okay. I, I have some relatives that are getting married in Philly. Uh, oh, you got to go hook up with Tyler. Like, I think November of this year. You know what I mean? So I'll, I'll definitely yeah, look you bro. up. Yeah, bro. I'll definitely. It's I'm, only, I'm only going to Disneyland with Brandon if he wears a shirt and a hat that says I'm really black. Oh, dude, I am down. I will I'll do film it. that all day long. Yeah, I will yeah. make come that out shirt. Here, yeah. And I guarantee you, they will follow us around with cameras, and it'll happen. All right, yeah. Tyler, once again, what is the title of your podcast and your all of your social media? Yeah, Anybody who is out there that, that's looking to see more of my fucking ridiculousness, make, make sure that you check out uh, The Terrible Conservative. Uh, I am on Facebook and Instagram uh, slash Terrible Conservative. Thank you for having me. Y'all were awesome, and I uh, hope to be back on again. All right, Tyler. Let's, go, let's do it. All right. I'll, I, we will talk to you soon, and thanks for coming on the show. It was a good time talking about all kinds of bullshit. That was good. No, that was, yeah. No, I mean, what, Aaron yeah, went was, back and forth. That, that's, that's quality. Yeah, that's... Yeah, Travis. What do you think that, about all this nonsense that we've been doing tonight? It's, I, I'm it's, drunk. I like, I'm, no, I like you, man. You're 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 a, you're a host of a show, and yeah. I'm drunk, and I don't want to do this anymore. So I'm just going <laughs> to let you take over. No, this was really cool. Thank you guys, uh, everyone back here, for letting me be on the show. It was uh, it was kind of cool to see them go back and forth. I mean, even though we were just kind of like you know stalwart here, but they, it was. I mean, they brought up some good points. Respectable and, debate. Yeah. It was. It was. Yeah. Respectable. It was, it was two people from both ends, just kind of like, hey, just fighting it. And I, I think at the very end, it was good. Good handshake and. They got both their points across. But that's what we need. You do. No, you really do. Yeah, you need people talking about the the, the topics at hand and kind of going, look, I agree with you. I don't agree with you. But, you know, in the end, we're both human beings. We're still cool. We're still friends. Exactly. Like, 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 like for instance, like Aaron on the phone. No, and I'm not lying at all. I talk to, we talk to Aaron every fucking day. Okay. And, and, and politically, like, but what is politics? I mean, how much does it mean in our really, Every day, day to life with our friends and stuff. Steph, for example, he has different political views than me, but he's one of my best friends. You know what I mean? I'll take and, that. And, and, and like the politics doesn't mean shit. Right. You know, love is so much more powerful than the politics that were going on in this world. And the media wants to put it out there that like, oh, you're either extremely left and you need to beat the shit out of the people that are extremely right. right. And it's bullshit. We can be friends. We can love each other. We can we can have barbecues. We can hang out. We can do fun stuff and you love have, people. Yeah, you can have a podcast like this. You can do you can do I this and have you know, even more than love. I think it's more about respect. It is about right. respect. You can have opposing views about the same subject and still respect each other at odds. You know 100%. what I mean? Like, yeah, oh, yeah, absolutely. And I, and I, yeah. I agree with yeah. that too. Mm-hmm. I mean, you you've said stuff that I don't agree with, but I don't belittle it. It's like okay, that's his opinion. Where's he coming from? Like, like, I love this guy. If he's coming from that angle, there's got to be some substance to it. Right. And, and it's not, you can't hate people over <laughs> political parties. I always love Drunk that. Jake. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I, <laughs> yeah, drunk, whatever. Drunk Jake dances. <laughs> he laughs. He smiles. Let's see he how has drunk a great time. He is. Babe, Mother's Day's coming up. Oh, I'm we're working. not talking about the Crocs, right? I'm working. The, the high top Crocs? Nope. No. What? I know what I want for Mother's Day. Not the Crocs. Fuck, we're going to do that right here? Jack? Oh, what, what the what? fuck is that? What the a fuck is that? A dog bag? It's, 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 oh, it's you a want diaper a, bag for it. dogs. You want a backpack to feed dogs? No. Jack? That's fine. You can get that. No. Oh, no. Wow. Yes. Wow. No. No. Yes. No. No. That's no. a cute Dude. dog right there. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. I haven't babe. I haven't slept in my own home in like three years because of the dogs but that babe, are up at six a.m. Babe, but when you leave me on the weekends, I'm alone and I need a protector. I'll and get that you a dog. Dog's gonna protect you. That Mary, dog ain't doing well, that's shit. That's a puppy right now? right now. It's gonna grow up to be like sixty to hundred pounds. Who the fuck it's is attacking you? Cute dog. Huh? Who the fuck is attacking you? Never know. You never know. No, I know. <laughs> I know from the like the meth our, heads in the riverbed. How many meth heads have have come knocking at your door? All the time, in my <laughs> get the fuck out of here. 
all the time. They just show up. Marianne, like, hey, this is where is you Jason? sign off so you don't look at this picture. Thank you. No. Oh, Marianne wants a dog too? Uh, no, I'm serious. Travis, you, you live up in the high desert. I do, yeah. I, I think you, you, all right, When's the, the last time you were butt fucked by a meth head? Never. But it, exactly. it's crazy. But they, but they are around. They are around. They're, they're, they hang do out. they show up on your porch every day? They hang out of the Del Tacos up there. They, they just come out of the. Yeah, they do. He they has do. a point. So, that so is a valid there. point. That's true, yeah. So Del Taco is basically. Um, it's the are, meth head are, capital yeah, of the world. I'm yes. serious. Oh, oh, yeah. They take him in. Yeah, it's crazy. I need a big dog to protect me. So, Travis, all of your social media and shit, where do, where do people need to find you? Uh, you can find me Instagram, uh, Facebook, everything. Travis Tablache. Uh, I, I, I have shows coming up all the time. So if you guys want tickets or want information, just message me. You can. Uh, here we go. Tablet show right there. Uh, that is the Facebook link to the Epic Television. So on Monday nights, you can watch it there. And then on Tuesday nights, watch this show because we'll, we'll yeah. call it the Hours of Power right here. Right hours there. of very little power. <laughs> yes. Let's call it that. I am still jealous of Travis and all of his show. With all, He's got jewelers sponsoring him. He's got, cool, And we've right? got Fleshlight. Because you know why? He probably doesn't talk about... we got a tobacco about, shop now. That's Whitney, right. He, doesn't, he didn't have Whitney, Wisconsin yet. Hmm. Oh, we need to get you yeah, with that's right. That's the right. dog fucker. Oh, that's that's right. who you that's need right. on your yeah. show. And, and yeah. the hand job genie. And, and hand I'll job get him genie. On both show- I'll get him on the same show. And then yeah, you can be, have yeah. a hand there job dog fucker. That would be great. <laughs> that is <laughs> like... <laughs> the people terrible. in the high desert would love that shit. How can we don't hang out in the high desert? We're oh, both oh, up there. No. no, you don't hang out in the high No, we can't. No, it's, no, it's, <laughs> no, no. I've got Wednesdays and... I've got Wednesdays and Thursdays. Wednesdays and Thursdays. Wednesdays and Thursdays. How come we're not hanging out at Gators on Wednesdays? No, no. <laughs> See, Thursdays. What? The Desert Barn Brewery. Oh, okay. the yeah. Desert Barn yeah. Brewery. We have three dollars. They're half price. They're happy hour all day. Three dollars. Shout out to them. Yeah. Yeah. We Shout just need to bring them. camera. And yeah. I can drink there because they have uh, camera. They don't, camera. What do they do? They have. I'm Flimmy. Leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> they have the, the the craft cocktails now. Yes. So yeah, so yeah. yeah. And they're, they're actually really, really, yeah, really good. good yeah. See, Travis has been there. Oh yeah. No, so yeah, yeah. so why don't we like on a Thursday? Where you're, you're, you do your show on Monday. I okay. do my show on Tuesdays. On a Thursday, we're not doing shit. Okay. You only work nine to five. I, yep. Okay. So why aren't we like seven o'clock live from a brewery, just drinking beers and talking? We can do shit? that. Yeah. Yeah. Let's we do could, it. We could do the uh, the podcast, or we could do our, another a different show from there. A different show. Yeah, it'll be it'll be Jake and the Eyebrow Man. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That's we really use good, yeah. we use the same barber. We do. We do Lucky. the same barber. Yeah, Lucky's the same barber. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we do. All right. So I'll tell you what. This is Jake from Radio Underland. We've been having fun tonight. I don't know who that gay fucker is on the Are screen. Are you fucking kidding me? He's going to be our guest next week. Oh, asshole. I need to talk about that. Okay. Oh. Fucking asshole. All right. Well, hopefully he doesn't hear. No, there's no way he's going to hear this. Nobody's going to listen to but hours he, of this is, bullshit. Is it bad if he's gay? All right, Brandon. He's not gay. And but what if he is? So what? I'm just saying. How do you know? He didn't, he didn't Did you use put his it in a in fucking your endearing term. Okay. He's not like, oh, you know, this guy's probably homosexual and likes. Does that right, mean, Brandon. Does that mean he doesn't your, like Black penises? shit together, and let's talk about this. Jesus Next week, Christ. we have as a special guest, presidential candidate. Yes, Adam Kokesh. Adam Kokesh, who is what? He is the presidential candidate, and he's very... Um, uh, he's polling very highly right now in the Libertarian Party. Uh, he's an <laughs> so activist. is Barney. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> well, All right, no, no, no. What? We'll, we'll just we'll just go ahead and cancel that. that. No, no, <laughs> shut the fuck up. All right, so next week we have Adam Kokesh, who is legitimately. Leading the, front the pack, runner, yeah. wow. front runner for presidential candidate. Wow. Yeah, how did we do that? Why are they coming out here? And, and Nobody gives a fuck. Why are they coming out here? Might uh, not have. What are some <laughs> questions we can ask a, a an actual yeah, real life sure presidential candidate? Well, okay, so let's say he became president. What would you like to ask him? And the one thing that, that I would like to talk about for him specifically is that my understanding is he's running for the office of president to dissolve the federal government. And that's kind of an interesting plan. Now we have another presidential candidate. Presidential, presidential that candidate. One? We'll just say you've been drinking. <laughs> yeah, that too. Uh, but there's another potential. Well, he's been running for the last like four elections. Right. Yeah. Vermin that, Supreme. Vermin Supreme. Yes. Now, who is Vermin Supreme? 
He is uh, also a libertarian, and he's famous uh, for his uh, Pony for Every American uh, <laughs> this platform. This is legit. Really? Travis, and, this is legit. Wow. And, and, I, and I understand that he wants to give free health care to all these ponies as well. Oh, good. And, okay, perfect, Jack, yeah. can you pull up a picture of Vermin Supreme, is please? He's feeding my pony. That's what I want to know. Well, no, you have to take care of your Well, that only cost you $20 a month, Stefan. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's right, because we had a mini pony in here. Not too long ago. But I yeah, Travis, have you ever done a show where you're doing the show and a, and a miniature horse comes walking through the studio? That would be a first. No, I've never had that happen. Where is well, Sean? You live in the this is the guy. I know, right? He's the one falling asleep this week. Oh, Sean, how's how's the heroin that you're falling asleep in the background? I thought you were like 12 step and shit. Sean? Is no, he really asleep? He's legit. Wow. I'm tapping him. And, <laughs> and he is out. Hopefully he's wow. just asleep. Can we put a camera on him? Uh, but anyways, on, oh, okay. on on the left of your screen is Vermin Supreme, the guy wearing the boot boot on his the boot yeah. on his head. He's yeah. coming on the show. We got to work out some logistics because he does have internet at his house and stuff. And he's got an epic beard. Yes, he does. Yes, I'm he voting does. for him for Vermin Supreme. Right? Yes. Vermin. For Adam and I I really think that the radio underline should really put everything behind Vermin Supreme. Does anybody think that Adam Kokesh in this picture that's on our our live show right now that he has like uh what you might call crazy eyes? I don't know, but I keep wanting to call him Adam Cokehead. <laughs> that's what I thought, that's what I thought his Kokesh, name was. That's yeah. the first thing that comes yeah. to mind. When you say Kokesh, I think Kokesh. I think if I think if you interview either of these guys and they actually become president of the United States, they should make you guys some sort of cabinet members. They need to like. I agree. I, I, I think right we need one hundred percent debate. That would be with fair. both of them I mean, together. Can we get oh! them together on the same show Brandon, and have them debate? Steph just had an excellent idea because both of these guys are running under the Libertarian Party. I believe so. So can we get Kokesh and Boothead to like? Vermin Supreme. Vermin Supreme. Okay, to debate, Vermin. To, Mr. Mr. Supreme. To debate each other on our show? I, I, I've been having some difficulty getting communication with Vermin, but I can certainly try to work it out. Have you tried a pigeon? <laughs> Send a raven. Yeah. That's actually not a, a bad raven? idea, yeah. probably. Send a text message through, like, Game of Thrones. Hey, you know what I'm looking forward to towards tomorrow? My day off? I didn't see Sunday's episode of Game of Neither Thrones. Neither did oh. I. But I'll tell you what, what I have been watching. It's exciting. Yellowstone. I, didn't I binged it, I didn't it and it I watched. I finished it last night. All my wife. I have not turned great. on the TV since uh, Friday when you left to work. I, I know nobody listens to the last portion of the show, but Yellowstone. It's on Amazon, Amazon Prime, and, and yeah, he's giving me the finger to like get your fat finger to yourself. Uh, but but Yellowstone with Kevin Costner. Fucking great show. I loved it. So I this really guy, did. he texts me on Sunday. This guy, yes. I'm your dick supreme here. That's vermin. I'm dick supreme. Okay. I'm your husband. You're going to call me this guy? What if I said this girl? Did you get me Betty yet? If I said this girl, would you be pissed? I want Betty. Who the fuck is Betty? I already named it. Oh, the dog that you're looking at. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're going to wrap up this show. This is Jake from Radio Underland. We've been having fun tonight. We've had special guest, Travis. Tapple shake, tapple shake, tapple shake, tapple shake. This has been a fun show. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate Steph it. Steph and right. Missy, Thank we're all here so tonight. Well. It's Thank been a very good you. time. We had a special shout out to our guest, Tyler420, with the, what's his name of the show, Brandon? Terrible Conservative. Terrible Conservative, uh, Terrible Conservative on YouTube, Facebook, all that other kind of stuff. <laughs> and next week we have Adam Kokesh is next week. Really? I, I hope if, if, his publicist doesn't see the last 10 minutes of our show, then yeah, we No, nah, the have publicist him. won't. So we have a presidential candidate. Him. I can't believe that I'm saying out of my lips. Presidential, presidential candidate. candidate. Adam Kokesh next yes. week on the show. Oh, and this oh, is man. Jake from Radio Underland. You guys have a good night. Roll the credits. We're fucking out. Good Peace. night, guys. See you next week. Really? I didn't think that. Ah, but that's the point. If you don't think, you shouldn't talk. Jake White. Tom Blackstrom. Stephen Blackshear. Missy White. He said he was your friend and more. He told me to direct your chat about this. Visual and industrial tech, Nathan Anderson. New second director, Rick Nicoloso. Game second contributor, Shannon Anderson. Down.
down the rabbit hole with idiots. Well, after this I shall think nothing of, fall of falling down the stairs.